to the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen. Well, today we are playing with the new mould that Kerry Griffiths brought out for Katie Sue. Uh, and it's called the Fabric Puff. Um, let me just see where it is. One second. You got the Fabric Puff, Karen? There it is. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Karen's got one of them. <laughs> <laughs> and hello, have you got TikTok on, John? No? <laughs> right, so um, here is the Fabric like Puff. Oh. Right. So if we just have a look over the top. Sorry. Terry? Yes, I'm coming. If we look over the top, we're going to play with these two moulds, okay? So this was the very first one that Kerry Griffiths brought out last year, okay? And this was called the Fabric Puff, and then he's brought out the new two-in-one one. So, quite interesting. Two-in-one one. Two-in-one one, yeah. <laughs> So, and the thing is, the three of them together are three different sizes as well. So, I would say that you would need them both. Anyhow, what I wanted to do is, I've been wanting to have a go with the, with these, and I thought, while, I've, while Buttercream Flowers is not open, let's do all the things that I want to play with on a Tuesday, and uh, play with them and share with you. So, Karen is on comments. Hi, Karen. Hello there. And Terry is on camera. Hello. And Tom is set, uh, Tom. John is setting up TikTok. So, Hello. <laughs> so are we on TikTok? Yeah, hi, TikTok, we're with you. So let's hope you enjoy the live. So we're going to play with the Casey Sue ones. And then, um, so next week is going to be our last live. Um, and then we close the group then. And we're back on Buttercream Flowers on the 23rd of February. So next week's our last week. And next week, we're going to play with the Katie Sue honeycomb mould, okay? And I'm going to make a sugar sheet. Hmm, what's the sugar sheet? Well, you'll find out next week. So we're going to play with the honeycomb mould and the uh, buzz. Uh, what's it called? Zuz and his friends, bees, and the big blossoms, okay? And uh, the two, the large honeycomb and the small honeycomb. And we're going to make sugar sheets as well, so that's going to be fun, isn't it? So, Karen, how are we doing with our audience? Can I just say, I'm sorry, no, we can't stream to YouTube today because the it started going really fuzzy and uh, with, with going into the Buttercream Flowers group and to the Nifty Nozzles page, we were able to stream to YouTube as well. So, I'm really sorry about that, but we will upload it to YouTube later. We have reported our internet connection to our... Um, Virgin Media, who we're with, but they can't come out until until the lockdowns ease, and then when the lockdown ease, I'm I don't I can't say I'm first on the list, but I'm on the list for them to come out, have a look, fit a booster, and hopefully get us ready. So we can only stream to two pages, and we've chose the Bus Cream Flowers because that's where I want to store these lives and the main Sugar and Crumbs page. So sorry, we're not on the big screen, guys. You'll yeah. just have to cope. And um, we've got John in the kitchen as well, so if you do hear some other movements, and we've also got Link and the dog, <laughs> so. Quite a family affair today. Well, we've got a good audience with us, and Jean says, I've only got the original one, and another order's coming up ah, now. <laughs> very good. Okay. So, anyhow, I gave Karen the challenge. I said, Right, Karen, I need you to make me loads of these because I thought you're not going to want me to make loads of these live. Um, it'd be like watching paint dry. So, I'm just going to show you how to make them because they are really easy. You can use two things you can rub in some treks in there. Okay, see, look, she's softened it. You've got to have a Karen in your life, haven't you? Okay. I don't know what they all moan about Karens, but I've got three Karens and I love each one of them. So, <laughs> so, um, so there you go. So you can either rub them with treks or you can corn flour them, okay? So pop a bit of corn flour in, tap them out. Now what I would say to you is, if you're going to make these, make these on the night time when you're watching the telly, get yourself a tray and just sit there and start making them. What? Is that, that away? Is that in the way for our, yep. Okay, so just start making them. So I'm just going to pop in a little bit of the paste in there really very very easy but poor karen's had to do these all morning and the thing is i've come to get my cake out because i thought i'm gonna i've got a small cake to do with you guys and i thought i'll do the big one because it like i say not only will it be but like watching paint getting these done but it'd definitely be like watching paint me putting them on but they went on that fast yeah they went on quicker than what i could make them yeah <laughs> So, yeah, Louise, we are in the Buttercream Flowers group because that's what I'm, I'm watching from there now. I have pinned it to the announcements if you want to go in there or you can just watch it on the Nifty Nozzles page. Yeah. Sorry about the racket. Lincoln's decided he's having a little shaky-shaky. <laughs> 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 
So we left him in the house before and I said to John, you're going to have to bring him in because whenever we go away, he just basically wrecks the house. So basically he had all the doors open. He's let himself out on the drive, let all the other dogs out, all my heating's going out. He even managed to undo the gate as well, yeah, didn't he? he's undone the gates. He's a very clever dog, is our Lincoln. <laughs> so there well, you go. The loving it that we're, that we're building, that we've got the full gang here today. Oh, John, fantastic. you're part of our gang. Yeah. <laughs> He's coming in to make sure that we behave ourselves after last night's live. And Karen came in and I wasn't in work till later today and she thought she'd best check the patio or the decking area. So John doesn't want any more naughty chat and I did tell him it wasn't me, it was you. So uh, we all get carried away. Go on, John. Ah, so Debbie Cargreaves thought for some reason she thought it was going to be one big mould, not individual no, ones. No, no. Okay. Yeah. So there's your mould there. So I'm only going to do two. And then this is the smaller one. Okay, so you can see the size. And then I'm going to get Karen on mass production over there. <laughs> so, and then this is the smaller ones. Okay, then we're going to put them all together. And then we're going to make some leaves. And then we're going to use some of the... Um, ready-made roses that we have from sugar soft soft i've showed you them before now i do admire you ladies who love to make roses you know what good on you yeah but not me i like doing things the easy way so i'm going to show you some beautiful roses and we've also got a little surprise for you and if you're very good we're just trying to think of a way on how you can win something so i'm going to leave john to have a little think about how he thinks people can win well, they're saying we all love last night, John. Boo, John. We love last night. And Cathy says, I did wonder if that's why John's here today, keeping his eye on us. <laughs> he is. Keeping his eye on you lot. Because I had to tell him it wasn't me. <laughs> I innocently said how the conversation started was somebody asked about fluff. Yeah. And then somebody else said something about Ollie. I don't think Ollie knew where to put himself. So, and then somebody said they called there something else, and then it all got totally out of hand. And I mentioned where Mary on Coronation Street had been recently. Somebody confirmed it was a real place. And then somebody mentioned about the dive centre, and it all went mad. <laughs> well, get off that subject before it all starts again. Yes, yes. Um, <laughs> Move on. I can see John giving me the eye there. Uh, Leah Gillum says, Oh, I haven't seen the roses. So she's oh, looking forward to watching. Leah, you'll show you love them. the roses, Leah. So, with the two moulds now, you get six sizes of your fabric puff. Can you see them? Yeah, so that one, uh, that one gives you the large one and the small ones. This one gives you this one, and it gives you the edges. But to be fair, for the edges, all you need to do is cut them in half. So you're just going to cut. I know on the pink board, how shocking! And I Don't got worry. You, I got you. In I, know, I know you got me cutting board out. <laughs> Lisa Matusha is going to have a go with Hector's roses this yeah. week. It's amazing look season. That is the class still on special offer on Hector's class. The Hector's class. classes are on special offer. So if you want, I think I think Lisa Matusha has moved into that class actually. So there we go. So let me just um, finish off this cake, okay? First of all, and then. Um, I'll just show you what we've done. Now, what um, Kerry Griffiths has done lives in our kitchen. Um, he is a lovely guy, Kerry. Really very, very nice guy. And he um, he's designed this mould. So look how easy it is, how easy it's put together. Karen couldn't make these fast enough for me. So um, I'm not going to be able to show, show you from the front. But what I'm going to do is just show you here now. I've got a slight problem in the fact that my last bit is at the top of the cake okay so that means i'm actually because i'm because i don't know what to do it which is is cut them okay so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to push mine down and see how they go because you know i like to do everything nice and easy and if you put all these on together put the, all these on together i'll try and get them on that camera there put them on together then you should be able to push them down now i have got a smaller cake to do with you so john is just keeping an eye on any tiktok viewers see how they're doing if they're watching with us today this is our very first live on tiktok so look how easy this is now what kerry griffiths does is he hatch actually sugar coat uh, sugar paste his cake but in fairness i think he was using a dummy cake and we're going to real cake so there you go so i'm just pushing mine down because i think that would be better okay and then and then Karen, where's those big circle cutters, love? The PME ones yeah. in the cupboard. Right, do you want to grab them out for me? And we're going to need a big rolling pin. Okay. So, can you see okay on the camera there? Look how lovely this is. 
Just so easy. In fact, Karen's got a wedding cake. Is it a wedding cake you're doing yes. for somebody, Karen? Well, if, She's if, if the wedding goes ahead. If the wedding goes ahead later this year. So she said, Carol can borrow this mould. She said, how easy. I don't have to worry about any frigging dodgy sides or anything. Make I it don't all need nice no sharp smooth. edges. I don't need any sharp <laughs> edges, no. <laughs> this is it now, girls. We're fabric puff yeah. all the I way. I don't know they ask for a fabric puff when they're getting it. It's, <laughs> it's just a present for them, so they'll get what they're given. <laughs> this is, yeah, exactly. When you're doing a present, they have to have what they're giving. So it's uh, so now it's uh, we're going to go crazy on fabric puff cakes. Yeah, and Leah Gillum says, oh, don't they fit together so yeah, well? Yeah, they do. So I'm just pushing these down. Really, what you're supposed to do is trim them, but I'm not trimming them. I'm just pushing them down. Do you know when I looked at his when I looked at the packaging though? Yeah. He has his coming. He, had, he hadn't pushed his down. His was protruding over the top of the cake. Oh, did he have a protruding? Yeah. Did he? And we didn't show anybody how to finish it off. Well, we're doing it the Carol McFarland way. So you know how it is. Hashtag Carol McFarland way. Yeah. So don't forget, I've seen some of you been using that um, hashtag. John will be wondering what the hell we're going on about. Hashtag Karen McFarland way. And somebody actually did hashtag do it the Karen Griffiths yes. way. And I went, oh my yeah. God, it's my first hashtag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to get these ring cutters out now. And I think that's too big. Tell you girls, we're going to find a way of using these ring cutters these all ring the cutters time. These ring cutters are $19.99 and look at that, 19 circles and we've got a, a use for every single one yeah, of them. I don't know what I told you, I'm going to find loads of reasons. Give me that sugar <laughs> paste, Karen. <laughs> Open it, yep. Yeah. So let me just dust all this off here. And then I'm going to show you on the little cake. So I just wanted to get that done. Thanks very much. Oh, it was Debbie who did the hashtag for me. So oh, was it? Debbie, I loved it. I was made up when I saw that hashtag. <laughs> right, so I've just got to mould this. So feel free to ask right. questions. Say hello to John if you want to. Oh, jeans, are cut, jeans circle cutters are coming today. Oh, are you they? You are going right. to love them. Well, listen, I'm going to pass this over to Karen to mould why I get on with the small cake. Um, in fact, I can't get on with a small cake because it's got to go on top of there. So, so we'll right, have to wait for a minute. You could do, I'm, but just, I'm just doing this while but there's no questions. Let me just show through. you what we've got. So they're not labelled yet and I shouldn't be really showing you. But I said to John, I'm that excited. I want to show you. The word kid in a sweet shop came to mind. Says you, he was really excited. <laughs> So she, who was equally excited? Well, I think the pair of us together yeah. there were. So look at these girls. Look, these are sugar. We're just starting off with our own colours. So these are our own luster dullet colours. Look at those. So you're going to love them. We've just done. Let me just see. I'm going to have a little play with them after. Just before we went live. It was very quickly, wasn't we it? We did a very quick throw it on, but can you see the colours? We haven't we haven't brushed them in properly. Look. Tell me what you think of those. So all we did is, is just quickly roll out some sugar paste and then paint the colours on. So what shall we do so that you can win some of these? Okay. So I'm going to do it so that you can win two colours each. No, not two colours each per person. Um, but there's ten grams in these pots. So that's quite a lot, and we're going to luster with these as well today. So while John has a little think of a competition, are you thinking, John? Now we haven't <laughs> labelled these yet because our labels haven't arrived, and I'm not sure they're going to arrive till next week. But I know some of you are going to be really excited. But look at that gold. Can I get my Can I get my chocolate out of the fridge? Yeah, which chocolate have you got? The cho our chocolate orange. Our chocolate thing from last night. One that I just lost the our cone. So what do you think of those? I'll let Karen tell me in a minute she needs chocolate. So John. Oh yeah, show them there. Yeah. So that one is that colour there. There we go. Isn't that lovely that? And it is so sparkly. How and shiny You're right, is that? Gillian. They're very shiny. Yeah. They love, love, love. Wow, love them, Carol McFarland. Yeah. They are gorgeous. So I'm gonna let John think of a little way for this class on how this session today on how we can give you some of these for free. <laughs> Kathy says, how about anybody whose name's Kathy is a winner? <laughs> <laughs> I like it. You know what? Kathy. I can't think of a better competition. <laughs> So let's go, I let's, like let's, it. Let's so go you're with that the one. first winner, let's Kathy. Go with that one. So Kathy's the first winner. Who was that? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's got to go change your name now. On their account, all the orders have come through now. Kathy, Kathy, Kathy. <laughs> Which Kathy was that? It's Kathy Eaton. Kathy Eaton. There you go. You've just won two. I'm going to let you get away with that one. 
So come on then, let's think of some ideas of how you can win some. <laughs> let's have a competition to win the colours. Who can remain the quietest out of all the troublemakers? <laughs> not one of you. Not one of you. <laughs> no, we don't want them going quiet. We need their comments. <laughs> oh, uh, my mum said, love those. Lynn says, I need all those colours. They're amazing. Oh, they're stunning. So we're very excited. Now, they're not going to be on sale for a little while because we've just got to sort the labelling out. They're all edible, completely safe, and they're beautiful. We want to try and get as many things as we can in our name this year. Lisa, Lisa Matusha says, well, I've just popped over to TikTok and left a comment for John. That should be a chance to win. <laughs> Absolutely, Lisa Matusha. You've just won two. There you go, Lisa. So there you go. So that's Kathy Eaton sorted out. Lisa Matusha's just won two. Make your own competition competition. Yeah. <laughs> can you do me a favour? Can, can you write two names Can you down? write the names down before we forget? <laughs> and don't get muddled up this time, you. <laughs> right, so, so Lisa Matusha and Kathy Eaton, they've just won two each. How many are we going to give away, John? And is it just, it's just two, it's just random colours we're giving you, yeah. just two randoms. So you'll see that I've rolled out the sugar paste there, okay? I've rolled out the sugar paste. Now I'm not sure if this is going to be the right I think Helen, out. Helen Williams was trying to type so fast. Yeah. I just south hello to John on Yoktok. <laughs> <laughs> Helen Williams, you just want to. Really, because we have no freaking idea what you're saying. <laughs> she said I said hello on Yoktok. <laughs> So is, that, just... is that a new platform we haven't heard yeah. about? I'll have to check that out. So who have we got there? We've got Lisa Matisha, Kathy Eaton, Helen Williams. How many are we going to give away, John? Ten. Pardon? We're going to give away ten. Oh, Debbie Hargreaves says she'll write a song about them. Right, there you go, Debbie Hargreaves. <laughs> Debbie Hargreaves. That's four winners. <laughs> but you've got to write a song, Debbie. You've got to write you've a song. You've got to write a song. Who was the third one? We've got Lisa Matusha, um... Kathy Williams, he uh, Kathy Eaton, Helen Williams, and Debbie Hargreaves. Right, Karen, can you cut me a couple? Can you make me a couple of more big ones? So you've seen now. Look what I've done. The mould. Oh. Yes, yeah, so you've, you've seen what I've done there now. So I've just used our lovely round circle cutters. I told you girls we're going to find a way of uh, using all these circle cutters. So I've used the one on there. Then I'm going to get the mould now. Okay. Now I have got a little cutting board. So see these little cutting boards that we sell here, okay? Well, we sell one that's plain, both sides, and we sell one that's got the veining board. And to be fair, I'm gonna save you money, girls. I'm gonna stop selling the plain one on both sides. I'm actually just gonna sell this one so that you've got the veining board and your Mexican hats there, and then you turn it over for your cutting board. Because I was looking at it in the warehouse, I thought, why are we selling both of these? And you know, you know what, I could probably say you need them both, and, Let's earn some extra money for sugar and crumbs, but it makes no sense, that really. So what I'm going to see, I'll cut that in half there, okay? And then we're going to fill it up here. So there we go, we're just going to stick it on. I'm going to push it round there. A yeah. couple of people have mentioned a name there, and she keeps saying, me please, me please. Who's that? Geraldine. Can I, I've got loads of cake decorating stuff that's brand new. Can I have some? I think Geraldine should, because you may as well go in the cupboard, Geraldine, with the rest of the stuff you've not used. So there's another winner. But the condition is, Geraldine, we want to see at least something lustered. Yes. We don't want our products in the cupboard. We, we want you to be using them. You can even lust a million if you need to. Yeah, give, yeah. <laughs> give, give Millie a new gold colour. Colour. <laughs> So there we go. So all I've done there, okay, because I want to fill in. Can you see I'm filling in? Now, I've not added any water because my um, paste there is still wet. And I've just put this fresh piece on, so it's still tacky, that. So all I'm doing is just pushing it in, so you can see on that camera. Who likes this mould? So this is the large fabric puff. I'm going to go and use the smaller one on the smaller cake in a minute. All right, Sean Moss, I think we'll give you one there as well, shall we, Carol? I always give right, right good reviews as you can't beat sugar and crumbs for their live service and what a wonderful team. There you go, there's another two, Sean <laughs> Moss. <laughs> and Geraldine says she loves us all. Yeah, there you go, good. How many is that? How many have we got there? Six. We've got six. Right, let's have a bit of a break for a minute yeah. and then I'm going to wait while Karen shouts out... Um, Right, John, can you just go and get me a little Do bit of water? Because this is dry now. John, you just go and grab me a little bit of water. Do you need more? Are you all right? 
I'm fine now, yeah, thanks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hey, I tell you, if you ever want a fabric puff queen, she sat there. <laughs> she can make them fast. What I would recommend you do, though, with these is um, is to just sit there at night time, make them, leave them in a nice airtight container to make them nice and soft. Oh, Lynn so, says, thank you for the cake. It's uh, with the whipping it up. It's delicious. Oh, was it nice with the, with yeah. the whipping it up, was it? Yeah. yeah. So I'm just going to just tap on a little bit of water on this one because we're dried out here now. Someone here has joined us on TikTok says, can they have a luster dust? But you've only come up as a user. Yes, yeah, it doesn't we don't know like, who you are. It doesn't look like you've given yourself a name for some reason. You've just given a user and a number. Yeah. Right, so just got one more to cut. We Let's haven't see. named the colours yet, Jean. That's something we'll be doing in, in St. Carol's. Yeah, we're doing, we're do, yeah, we've got to think of the names. Um, we've got to think of the names. We might do a little competition on names. When, I, when I've, they've only, they've only just arrived. We've been waiting for them to arrive for weeks, and then I said to John, they arrived at work today, and I went, bring them home, bring them home. We're doing a live at two o'clock. Get home. <laughs> so uh, they're very new in the sugar and crumbs kitchen. They're not even going to be on sale for a couple of weeks yet because we need to get all the labelling done. What about so, a naming competition? Yes, yeah, so we'll do a naming competition in a few weeks. And then uh, whatever names they are, we'll uh, pick a winner then. There you go, some last one carrot, that's all I need. Mm -hmm. So have you seen this what I'm doing? I'm doing Alright, I've seen this what I'm doing. So you just cut them in half. Yeah, that's my last one. Rox Roxy Parvez on, on TikTok. So oh, she's Roxy. Won, she's yeah. won two as well. There you go, Roxy. You've won two. Well done. I was talking to Roxy last night, so that was good, wasn't it? So we're up two now. It's a seven now, it's so. Right, they are. See, and look at that. Go to the overhead there. And we've got Charlotte McManus as well. Oh, Charlotte McManus. You've won two as well. There we go. I know Charlotte. I actually know all those ladies. Very good. Well done. So we'll send you a random two in the post. So all you need to do is um, go to info dot sugar and crumbs at iCloud.com. Send a message and say that you've won two of the new sugar and crumbs. Um, bluster dust okay if you've got an order in can we put it in your order so I can save some postage I know that seems a bit mean but it'll really help us out if you've got an order in or if you want to wait to your next order and I can pop it in then what I'm worried about is sending two of them they might just get smashed in the posting you know or lost or something so if you've got an order I'm happy to post them out if you're not placing an order but if you've got an order coming in just put in the notes there I've won only those who've won we've taken your name down yeah okay we might get a bit more giddy in a bit right so that's that one that's our first layer okay so let's show you how to put this together then so first of all <clears throat> so then this is our next one so sorry i need my cake back because this cake here is actually on this board but i don't want it on there so i'm just going to lift it up okay and I'm going to sit it. Oh, wait a minute. I've got the gripper mat underneath. Don't want the gripper mat on, do we? So I'm just going to sit it ooh, 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 on there. So, does that look as though it's in the middle, Terry? Have a look over the head. Just have a look over the head. I'm just trying to get to it now. And um, I'm going to just. I don't think just, it's fully centre. Right, just a minute. Let me go and get a cloth a minute. I've got a cloth. So, and just this other one will help. Go on, go to the overhead there. They keep moving it on set. This one, yeah, but centre. Yeah. Yeah, look. It does look centre, doesn't it? I think I'll just push it in there a bit. There you go. That will do, that little nudge. All right, so that's on there. This is the quickest two tier cake you'll ever make. Right, so we've got these, so then we're on to the smaller one now. So you can use the big ones as well, there's nothing stopping you putting the big ones on there. But I just wanted to show you the smaller ones. So in the smaller mould, I'm going to find out how to get in this box. Karen, <laughs> look at Karen, what she's been doing. <laughs> so she's been making them in here, so they're here. Let's get all these. So what you do then is, probably going to have to go to that camera there. So what you do is, you sit them on. And you just line them up. He 
Can you see them, Terry? This is the easiest wedding cake, I tell you. What do you think the trend's going to be for wedding cakes this year? Fabric puff. <laughs> So easy, it's just kids got can such make a this. Gorgeous finish to it, though, hasn't yeah. it? Do you want to make me some leaves? No. <laughs> what size would you like? All of them. You don't want loads much, of do them. You? No. <laughs> I want you to make as many as you can, Karen. It's a cold pan. Oh, put it out of the way. Sorry. So there you go. So you're just pushing them on. You might need your little pokey tool, your little FMM pokey tool. So I'm just waiting for stock from FMM to come in. So just push it in. Make sure it's pushed up. So that one there just needs pulling out. So I'm just going to pull that out because he's gone under my board there a minute. Let's get another one. Right, so that's your first layer, and then we've got the little baby puffs in here. So we're just going to sit them in between. It's a bit weird me working at this angle, trying to get you on that camera there, because I would normally turn it to myself. So if I do have any gaps, I'll just have to straighten up in a minute. Look how easy this is. So make all your little puffs at night time, the night before your cake. Put them all in a little plastic container so that they say it stays soft. Now, um, Kerry recommends that you use um, sugar paste with Tylo in. So put some Tylo in it. So what I've done is I've used the Karen Davies sugar paste because um, it's a lovely paste. It tastes amazing. So I'm just going to take this one off because it's not got a long enough pointy thing on it. So uh, it tastes amazing. Um, so we've used that so we've not had to add any Tylo to it. Um, if you use the Select Platinum, that's fine as well. That's quite a firm paste. I've we'll just used a nice firm paste. And as I say, Kerry does use, um, he, puts, he covers the cake with sugar paste first. Um, the only reason I would normally do this with pink, uh, not so pink, I would use this with white buttercream normally. But um, I was playing with the new um, whipping it up and I had to use this up, so needs using up so uh, hence why we've got this pink colour so if you are using whipping it up I'm going to do a session on whipping it up next week I'm going to show you how to make the white whipping it up once you use Trex you don't colour it okay it's only if you want super white but I just knew we wouldn't have time today to do that so uh, we're not doing it today but I'm going to one day one day next week I'm doing a live I'm going to do it in that Session. Jess Dolman's new chocolate rolls have just arrived, so the little ones are having an early night tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good idea. <laughs> so, I don't know how we're doing with viewers on TikTok, because they've only got one camera. So uh, Well, we're on 13 at the minute. We were up to 18. All right. What, we're on 13? 13, yeah. There you go. Oh, loads of followers on TikTok, isn't there? <laughs> <laughs> How are we our, doing it's our on our first uh, ever live? Yes, yeah, our first ever live, yeah. And it doesn't stay there, the live, does it, John? No, apparently not. As soon as we press stop, it's gone. That's the end of it, is it? You're never yeah. to be seen again? Yeah. Oh. oh. It's a fair enough. All right. Okay, so this is how you fit them on. Dead easy, isn't it? Easy, this. What are they saying, Karen, about these? They love it. They're loving it. They were talking about the colours, but they they uh, love this. A couple of them are thinking of buying the bigger one because they've got the smaller one. Yeah. And they'd like to have the set. Yeah. Well, I think you should have the set, really. Yeah. So I was when they, when it came out, I was thinking, why has he brought out another one? But now I know why. Once he's brought it out, makes sense. Lisa's come back to Facebook because it's better quality. Yeah. We've only got one camera on TikTok. Sorry, guys. We're not set up for two cameras. Yeah. what we're hoping to do is on tiktok is that gain some new audience you know because all you guys follow us on facebook as it is so we're just trying to get some new audience and bring them over to facebook hopefully 
So who's new watching today? Let us know who's new. Who's brand new, who's never watched us before and you're in the UK? Brand new, never watched us. We're a friendly bunch, don't be frightened of shouting out your name. Everybody here is super duper friendly, seriously. In fact, they're, they're that friendly, they're very naughty. <laughs> Nearly got me in loads of trouble and buried under the patio yesterday. Yeah, Geraldine said that's so effective, that mould, it's lovely. Yeah. I'm just moving them around a bit, so... I've read it that with hindsight now, I wish I hadn't used the pink. But it was being lazy, I just said to Karen, should we use up that paste? Yeah, but once you've dusted it, you won't see yeah, it. Yeah, no. And Helen says, no winging it today, Carol. No, I don't need to wing it with this, it's freaking easy. <laughs> I tell you, it's brilliant. <laughs> Just make sure you've got your points on though. Like I've lost a couple of points, like that one there hasn't got points on. So I'll throw these bits back to Karen so that we don't waste them and she can uh, put them there. Viv said she's paid for Joe's Mother's Day class, but can't... The group's not on it. yet, not made the group. Ah, that's why. That's why you can't. I did message you to say, I did message and say that Doe's, um, Doe's class is up on the website, but I haven't made the group. It'll probably be weekend before I get a chance to make the group. So I'm actually very pleased with myself today because Terry and I share an office and my office is just full of all sorts of stuff. Everything comes in there and gets dumped. And today I've got the cleaner in and me and the cleaner have just gone for it. In fact, what does it look like, Karen? Well, I walked in, I thought I'd walked in the wrong place. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Terry walked in. And Terry doesn't like the smell of the cleaning stuff and the cleaner's growling at her and I'm going, don't worry, she's leaving it at past one, she's going doing a live, don't worry. So as soon as she went out, the cleaner was whacking it right in there and um, right in there. But it's just, it's like a dumping ground for everything, isn't it? But you get things back, so, from, the, from, back from the warehouse, don't you? It yeah. just all goes into your office. So everything that's new comes into my office and then I have to then get it onto the website. Then it goes to the photographers. I need to get the barcodes on, the SKU numbers, then the images, need to check the writing. Because when I buy it from the suppliers, the suppliers have one name for a product, but when it actually comes, it's actually got a different name. So I need to make sure I have it right for the warehouse slides picking it. Look how easy this is, guys. Who's liking this so far? We've got, oh. Beth, we've got Beth Manning on TikTok, new to Sugar and Crumbs, hello. And who's that? Beth Manning. Beth Manning, do you not follow us, Beth, on Sugar and Crumbs? And where are you? Are you in the UK? How did you find us? I know you found us on TikTok. What made you come and watch us? Feedback welcome. And are you a caker? Well, Gillian says she loves this now because you'll be able to cover a big cake now. Yes. Thanks for the inspiration, In Carol. super speed, isn't it? So how many of you bought this mould and not used it? Because I've had this mould now. I've had the original now, what's it been out, 18 months has it? And um, I've never used it. But I've, what I said to you is, so those of you who are in my Buttercream Flowers group, that group there is every Tuesday afternoon. So on the 23rd of March, next week is the last one. And then we go private again on the 23rd of March. So what I said to the ladies then, is that um, while, we're, while we're not really doing anything in that group, while we build up some new members, um, I just want to practice some things. So I'm taking these Tuesday afternoons to practice some things that I just don't get a chance to practice. And, um, and that's why we're streaming into that group so I can save it. By the way, ladies, in any groups now that says units, they're changing to guides. Facebook are changing the name. So as I go in and amend them and add stuff, it changes the words to guides. So when you go looking for units now, you need to be looking for guides. And if it still says units, it means I've not been in that group and amended anything. So it's definitely March then when you start your buttercream flowers again, not February. Because no, you said 23rd of March. 23rd of February. You, you kept saying March. I didn't say March, did. I said February. No, you didn't. You kept saying March. Sorry, 23rd of February. <laughs> so next week, check. next week is the last week that we're streaming out of here. And we're going to do the honeycomb the Katie Sue honeycomb stuff, then we close and then I'm back in buttercream flowers and we go back to making all our flowers again. Okay, so if you're a member of that group, last year we did, I think, how many classes did we do in that group? Was it 23 classes? No, it was about 26. Yeah, so we did, we did absolute loads of classes in there. So the idea of that group was one class per week, one flower per week, okay? John's not quite sure how we ended up doing nearly two or three flowers some weeks. Yeah. <laughs> 
20, 26 classes <laughs> and um, so that that was the idea and um, anyhow so there it is. so all those members don't need to repay this year they stay as members for this year and then anybody who joins you can watch last year's classes and uh, we'll be going over them all again so basically we'll be going over the whole content what we did last year and then we'll add some other new bits to it um, I do want to say if you haven't seen Jane McDougall she's poorly she's in hospital so she's well now but she's had a little bit of a trauma so if you want to send her a message later feel free to send her a message so I know she's normally running around the groups with Karen doing all the um, gifts and stuff like that but uh, she's poorly so I haven't said anything before but she has said today I can tell you she was hoping to get home today but where she lives they're deep in snow even the nurses are having to walk so it wasn't a clever idea that they built the hospital on a hill <laughs> oh good grief <laughs> so I think a question about how much the luster dust are going to be we're not sure just yet we're not sure So we've come to the top of this, okay. Are they enough? I don't know. Oh, yeah. yeah, you made plenty. <laughs> yeah, you made plenty. So. There we go. Are you impressed, John? John doesn't normally sit here and watch my cake decorating skills. But think, John. Very good. <laughs> Can't say that else with you lot around, can I? <laughs> so who have we got new on Facebook? So I know we've got the lady on um, TikTok, but I don't think she's responded to say whether she's a caker or not, or how she's found us, has she? I'm not sure. No. So who's new on Facebook watching us today? Oh, that's good, doesn't it, guys? Great. What are we thinking? I've never seen one of these before. Hey, how quick to decorate a cake. How long have we been going? 45 minutes, but we've been chatting, haven't we? Hey, who's decorated? Well, to be fair, I did have the bottom tier done first, but I started the bottom tier at half past one, if you want to know what time I started the bottom tier. And then I finished working on it at 10 to two. I went back into the office to do a few things there, mainly because Karen needed to catch up with the uh, making I puffs. I kicked out the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need any more. Oh, you're doing leaves, aren't you? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I thought she was still making puffs. No. <laughs> right, okay then. So we go back to our circle cutters. Girls. Oh, Jane's watching us. Hi, Jane. Hi, Jane. Just been telling them you've been poorly, love, but they can send you messages now in case they wondered where you'd all got to, which I'm sure they had. Right, so our circle cutters. So let's have a look. Who's got these circle cutters? I want bigger than that. I think. Are you going, John? Yeah. yeah. Cheerio. Shall I take it with me? Yeah. So bye-bye to John and Lincoln. If you come this way round, Karen, uh, Terry will move the camera. Or oh, you can get that. Lincoln, go on. See you later. So any of you don't know, we have a big dog that's got anxiety issues. <laughs> Basically wrecks the house if we leave him. Judith, these circle cutters are absolutely excellent. And the 19.99 you get, I think it's 13, 13 in the tin. I mean, they're absolutely great. Is it 13? Sure it's 13. Set of 19. Oh, 19. Oh, there we go. Beth yeah. Manning says, yes, I'm in the UK. My mum watches you guys all the time and also orders all the time. Who is she? Beth Manning. You Beth Manning, you are now a winner. Okay, oh. so go to sugar and crumbs info at iCloud.com. So, no, is that right? It's info.sugarandcrumbs at iCloud.com. Yeah. And leave a message there, say that you're a winner of two luster dust. And um, just say that we'll pop them. If we can pop them in your next order, so all you ladies who've won, if I can pop them in your next order, it'll make my life so much easier. Don't have to order now. can order in six weeks, eight weeks. I don't care when you order. We've got your name down. That would make my life a lot easier than posting out two of these because I'm not sure whether two will get there safely. That being crushed with parcels and Helen, stuff. Helen, the circle cutters are PME. Carol, could you just show the front yeah. of the tin for me, please? So there they are. 
So these circle cutters, I brought these out the other week. Well, I didn't bring them out, PME did. And I brought them in the kitchen and Karen was like a freaking magpie on them. I tell you, I've never seen them snatched out my hand so fast. They were snaffled off. Did you yeah. buy the set that was in the kitchen here? No, no, I bought as You said they're on the, you're on, they're on the website now before you finish speaking. I had one in my basket. Yeah. God, they they <laughs> were right. sold. Yeah. So, um, and, it, and I said to you, you don't need to. You can have these in here. But these had to, they had to go to Simon, the photographer, yeah. didn't they? Yeah. yeah. And then we had to sell the ones that we had going to Simon, the photographer, because we couldn't get hold of any more. So the lady knew that we uh, actually had to sell them to Simon. And set, had, that she bought the set that we just opened on yeah. the live. And then we've had to open another set. But they're great. We've used them for all sorts of things. So I'm just going to roll out again. So grey boards, um, the update is we're hoping that the grey boards, uh, they've been cut in Germany. They're on the way to us and we're hoping to get delivery next week or within the next 10 days. It'll all be now down to customs. So um, and then what they'll do is they'll go to my man who will chop them all up for me and um, We'll be able, and let chop them up and then he does this little edge bit and then he'll send them up to me and we'll be able to dispatch those. If you want to reserve a grey board, you can there's a £25 deposit link on the website. And if you still if you want to order a pink one and just pay weekly, you can do or monthly. It's entirely up to you. A lot of you ladies have actually done that. So uh, a lot of you ladies did it for on your run up for Christmas because you were all waiting for vouchers and stuff like that off your families. So here we go. So I've just used this one now which I'm going to sit on the top of there. Can you see that? Then what we're going to do then is we're going to go back to the small ones in the tub. So we've got the little halves there. And then I'm just going to press them round. Look how easy that is. Can you see? Yeah. Easy enough. Can you get it? Okay, enough there, Terry. Is the cake getting too big? No, it's fine. I'll just move it. Pardon? I'll just move it. I'm just Right, I'm just going to have to get a little bit of water here because um, these are drying. So I'll just put a little bit of water on them. easy isn't it how quick to decorate it's okay absolutely i haven't like even that. told katie sue i'm doing this live yet i'll have to message them afterwards and say hey to the live yeah. of your stuff today and you are going to use our new colors aren't you to yes i'm going to use to our new it colors up, aren't you? yeah so our new colors won't be on sale for a week or two yet but let's just tell you they're the same quality as the fake cahill stuff they're brilliant they're actually lovely and what I'm going to do is, any of you are in the introduction to wedding cakes with Hannah, with Rachel. <laughs> with Rachel, Rachel Hannah. <laughs> Rachel Hannah. <laughs> I'm going to ask her to use them. I'm going to give her some to uh, use. seems to have stopped now so it might just been a bit of um, a flutter it's a bit of a flutter and Angela says she loves the colour of your nails Carol oh thank you my favourite pink it is isn't it it's you called frozen your... pink I stopped having it for a while yeah you did so... you went to different you went to more muted colours didn't you yeah but I've decided to go back to the sugar and crumbs pink colour uh, every time I go to all the cake shows I have my colours on like this and you'll see anybody who's copying our nozzles they generally have a bit of Snip of my uh, hands in there where they've stolen a bit of our video footage. Is that enough leads? Right. Yeah, that's enough leads. Yes. <laughs> right. So they can go in there. Right. You know what? Because we we still got a couple of free ones to give out. Yeah. Could I give one, one to? Could I? Well, we've only got one more halfway, unless Carol decides anything else. Nikki King. Yeah. Because she on. says because she watches every live of Carol's and Co. And I know when I've not done one on a Friday, she's doing dead upset and it's, been, it's really touched me. So I'd like to let Nikki have a set. Absolutely. Is Go that on. all right? Yeah, we know Nikki. Yeah. 
<laughs> if you tell us, you'll never shop elsewhere, I'll give you them. <laughs> and Viv Goddard. I know, and Viv Goddard. Um, I do need to give Viv Goddard some because she really missed out last week yeah. So um, on something. And I said I'd make it up to her, so you don't have to make any icing sugar for Viv now, Karen. We'll give her two dust instead. <laughs> You lot got me into a load of trouble last week, I'm telling you. Honest to God, I said to you about the new flavours, so we've decided on our five flavours now. So hopefully they're going to be in soon. Um, so we've decided on five flavours and we had ten flavours to test. And I said to you, the, the other five flavours that Karen had made, um, we'll just throw them in your order. But I did say I only had five flavours. The amount of you that message and rang and said, Carol said I could have five flavours. I never said that. I said, you can have one each. <laughs> it went mad. You should have seen the messages that was going on in the office ringing me. And I said, look, watch the live. I made it very clear there was only five flavours. But then people were ringing the office. No, Carol said I could have all five flavours. The office didn't even know about it. <laughs> so what do we think of that then? That is absolutely gorgeous. Cool that, isn't it? I've got yeah. lots of people saying they don't shop anywhere else good we don't want you shopping anywhere else we yeah. want to stay loyal that, with us. i mean how quick did you do that that to do yeah even to do a celebration you don't want to do a wedding cake celebration cake it is so nice and yeah. then we've got mother's day coming up in fairness karen did them so what time did you start making them karen it's, it's not took me long it, it probably took me about uh, about an hour if that so an hour and a half yeah that. so she was making yeah. these i sat down at half past one because i said look i need to get this nearly finished because otherwise it'd be like watching paint dry watching it you know watching me putting them all on but they're just so easy and look at we're putting that top on there and then we're going to hide a few things afterwards so let's get these leaves that karen's made for us and some kitchen roll karen i'm going to have to get you on the run again all right minute. sorry my lovely like, oh, I know oh, you. Right, and then um i think well, tell me what would you like i want some kitchen roll yeah. please kitchen roll Aren't your brushes over there? Some, have we got some cleaner brushes in those? Have a look. Just have a look. So I might have to get Karen to make some more leaves. She might think she's rested, but she hasn't. So. Uh, oh, do I ever think that? There we go. <laughs> so uh, this was some of the colours that I had in before with some uh, rejuvenator. So is that in the way there, by the way? Let's get that out of the way. So I'm just going to paint up some of the le these leaves here. Which size would you like me to do? Is there a specific size you'd like? Uh, to just the uh, same as what you've done right. already. Another tray full, if you can do. Yeah. So we're just going to paint these up. Then I'm just going to sit them in here. In fact, I'll sit them in this one. This one's better. Okay, so let's paint a few of these up. Rejuvenator. So this one was the bronzy colour that we used there. I don't know whether it's a bronze or a rose gold. What would you say that colour was? So, let me. This bottle didn't come with one of those little lids oh. on it, and it's driving me mad. So, these are my leaves. Look at them. I'd say that's like an antique gold, that, isn't it? Would you? Let have a look. We'll just put. Well, I'll, mm. see, I'll see it on there. So, this is, uh, this is the sugar and crumbs colours. So, these are the new ones. So, these are going to go on sale. I hope to have them on sale the week after next. And what we'll do is, um, we might do a little competition on Thursday night again, and we'll name them. So I just, they've only just come in, they've only just arrived. And we'll be adding more colours to the range. So I'm just going to do those in that bronze colour first. In fact, I might do all, all of this in this bronze colour because I think I might luster my cake gold. What colour was that? No, in fact, I'll do a couple of different ones. Let me just do this first. Oh, you're moving all the rubbish away, eh, Terry? We've got some um, people asking questions on TikTok. So, all right. <laughs> so we're just going to paint up the leaves. So we're adding rejuvenator or dipping solution. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, we're looking for building up a real loyal following and i know that we've got quite a loyal following really but we really want to make our business grow this year so we want to be um 
out there we're a very social bunch of people here we help you as much as we can and you know i do all these lives and everything for you and it's it's always nice if you reward us by shopping with us you don't have to buy with us we're not saying you do but i just think all the free content that we get i do get messages off people which is really funny hi carol i bought that thing you know off such a buddy I thought, Ooh, that's not quite the idea <laughs> <So>. <laughs> and if you remember how many artists have i brought to you that you didn't even know until they came on our page so i'm just going to paint these up we'll use these in a minute isn't this color lovely what do you think of this i'm going to change the color and it says it's very blingy yeah that's what we want bling all edible So it's like our chocolate, I, don't, I want to make sure the chocolate's all back in stock as well. And it's like our chocolate, I want to make sure that you're buying chocolate as well. So uh, Calibo chocolate we're bagging up. We're not bagging it up in our own name. We're going to be bringing out a new sugar paste as well. We're not bringing that out in our name either, but um, it's going to be bringing out a new sugar paste um, end of March. And you're going to absolutely love it. It's going to be amazing on price and it's going to be amazing in taste and what it does. So I've got a couple of other brands of sugar paste to bring out as well that I've not tried yet. So, uh, and I think um, Smartflex are sending some sugar paste this week for me to do as giveaways as well. So I'm going to be doing some giveaways on that this week. Uh, Michelle Ward says, she thanks you for Ollie all the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think you've got a repeat subscription, aren't you Michelle with Ollie? Yeah, so it'd be nice if you shop with us direct because everybody I've introduced you to would be from us. And the reason these suppliers come to us is so that, you know, it's so that you get to know who they are. Do you know what I mean? So I bring them here and, I, you know, I know some of you go direct to them, but it would be nice if you come to us because we're the ones who's actually funding the Facebook Live. We're the one who's paying for the staff. We're the one who's paying for the, um, the Internet. We're the one who's paying for the streaming. We're the one who's paying for all the advertising of the product. So it'd be really nice if you came back and supported us with it. And uh, we don't sell anybody's products dearer than, than they do anyhow. And Viv Goddard says, couldn't wish for a better company. You're a great team. You're a great customer anyhow, yeah, Viv. Do Calibo do a mint chocolate? They don't, no. Otherwise I would have had it. So I was talking to the man at Calibo yesterday and I was telling him what I was doing. So he is um, thinking of... Um, getting the ruby done in their packaging for us at a, at a one kilo bag so he was quite interested in what we were doing there so uh, I'm going to be buying a lot more Calibo stuff I just need to sit down and go through the brochure the problem is quite a lot of it is in big packs and I think if you're quite happy for us to continue breaking it down in smaller packs to make it more affordable for you then I'm happy to do that too so this is all the leaves at the moment in this colour. I'm just going to do another colour. I've got some hay going. Yeah, we're not my next match. So I just want to get these done out of the way. I think I've hurt my brew later, you know, Terry. Hey? I think I've hurt my brew later. I know, but I didn't even get a brew today. <laughs> I've only had one brew meet today. That's one you made this morning. Well, that's what I've all managed to, I've, I've had half a brew. Yeah, I know. I've seen the empty. <laughs> you've left more brews. I think you've had a May, but they've just all gone cold, haven't they? I said to her before, whose bruise is this? She went mine. I said, whose is this? She went mine. Cold. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think we ever get a hot drink no. now, do we? Right, so what I'm going to do the, those now, I'm just going to bend them a little bit. No, because I was laughing saying, oh, well, I enjoy my brew while I'm doing the comments. He went, no, you won't. You're doing, le you're doing leaves and, <laughs> and fabric puff. <laughs> so I'm just going to bend them over in the little foam trays. So we sell these pink trays. We sell them in the mini size and the... Um, larger size i think i'm out of stock but i'm waiting for my delivery so scrapers and these trays i'm just waiting for the delivery said so this should be here for friday yeah there's no other company that looks after you like us there's no other company who does consistent facebook lives and show you the products nobody there's nobody been through covid like we have apart from paul and david doing cake flicks and around the baking around the world but there's been no other company has done the amount of stuff that we've done for you and it's nice because you've all said all the stuff that you had all the free content that we do for you and the classes as well and we're really grateful about you joining the classes 
Um, it's really helped the tutors because obviously they've lost all their work this year and um, you know they haven't got the furlough option or anything because most of them are self-employed. So it's been a big help for them, you supporting them. Julie Rogerson's new classes are on the website. And as I say, Doe Griffin's Mother's Day class is on the website, but I just haven't put the group together yet. So there's a few leaves there. So I'm just going to bend some of the leaves, let them dry up a minute. Kaya yeah, says, really you guys have really brightened my day during this miserable lockdown. Much love to you all. Tanya on TikTok. Ah, thank you. So I know the viewing isn't that great on TikTok. We've only got one camera for TikTok, sorry. Right, there we go. Julie Moore, you are with us then? Right, so that's our bronze ones. Look at those, they're nice, aren't they? Yeah. I've only painted them yeah. one side. Nikki says, it's very true what you said, Carol. She's learned so much from you and the team. And that's it. So many of you say, Carol, thank you. Thank you so much. I've learned everything from you. And you know what, Summer? I'm still doing the hobby baker side, but it's nice to watch so many of you move on from learning to being better and better and become the professionals that you've come. And it's nice. I see you all. You know, I see all of you going around. There's, you know, some of you have stayed where you are. You're quite happy, you know, winking it away with me. Uh, some of you have uh, wanted to build businesses. And it's lovely to know that we've had a part of that as well. You need some more? Um, I'm just going to have a little think about that a minute. Okay. So I'm just going to put another one there. So our last class on a Tuesday. So don't forget, this is learning with Carol. I'm learning. So the whole reason with this is, um, and if some of you want to join my buttercream flowers class, feel free. I'm more than happy to take weekly payments or monthly payments. You go in the class straight away. Uh, same with the cupcake bouquet class. Um, and look, you know, it's like the Cupcake Bouquet class. I did one every month in there. Now this year I'm not. So if you join that group, you'll get 13 classes. This year I'm going to do one every two months. Now we're going to kick off with the one in February, but we've now moved it to March for Mother's Day. But because I feel guilty, what am I doing? You're doing a sneaky one. I'm doing a sneaky one in that group because that's how I am. And everybody who knows me goes, there you go. That's how she is. That's what she does. Right. So we've used that colour there. We use that colour, haven't we? So I'm going to use this ruby dust here in a minute. So I'm calling it ruby because I don't actually know what colour to colour I call it. Well, I had a suggestion before for that colour from yeah. my mum. She said, does royal ruby sound nice? Yes, it does. Rubylicious. Rubylicious, <laughs> oh, I like that. <laughs> now, I've got a little bit of the other colour on my brush in here, so... It might not, it might come out slightly different because I didn't change brushes. Ooh, I like that. Yeah, it's slightly more orange, isn't it? Yeah. Orange. Yeah, compared to what the colour is. Shay says, I love your passion towards your work, extending your time for night lives, all with a smile, without any complaints. I love you, Carol, and the SNC team. There are all the little things that we learn from you to be dedicated. Yeah, no, and that's lovely, and that's lovely. You know what, so many of you message me and send me little cards and little gifts or just a thank you, or even just a little message on Messenger just to say thank you, it's lovely. But what we really, really would appreciate is that you, you know, you work with us and you stay with us and you help build our company and, um, you know, put into us what we put into you guys that's what we're looking for you know we're talking about karen karen does all these recipes and we were talking about on the group people say oh where do i get a good victoria sponge recipe and somebody goes and promotes somebody else and we think well why do we do lives on fridays why do you not promote us and uh, somebody said where do i get a cheesecake recipe oh somebody else and we're like it'd, it'd just be nice if you said well actually have you ever watched karen she does all loads of bacon so it'd just be nice if you could share those recipes as well. I know some of you do, but Karen's baking's absolutely delicious. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> sure. I was having a moan earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell? <laughs> no, but she works hard in the kitchen, Karen, baking for you. So it'd be just nice. Try it. You know, and I'm not saying there's anything wrong with the other bakers, but you know what, it's the Sugar and Crumbs group, and people are asking questions in the Sugar and Crumbs group for our members to be promoting them elsewhere, and you think, why are you doing that? Why would you promote them elsewhere when you're in our group? Just give them the link to our recipe yeah. website. 
Or tell them to watch Karen on Lies. I mean, she's been doing um, the vegan baking. I have to get that word right. Good girl. So I always get it wrong. Um, and then, you know, now she's doing free from Fridays. And it's all to help you guys, isn't it? Right, so that's my two colour leaves. Right, now. You're right that I've stopped now. Yeah. <laughs> right, I don't think, I'm just going to see what this is like for dry brushing. Because I think I might just dry brush. Oh, yeah, so oh, sorry. Let's just see what this is like for dry brush in a minute. Because I don't know whether to wet brush that or dry brush. Oh, Julie said, about. loves Karen's baking. Between us both, Carol, she can now make macarons, thank yeah, you. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yep. And our product, you know, the whipping it up, you know, it's a fantastic product. Our icing sugars are amazing. And all of you have been using the icing sugars for years. They're amazing. They make delicious buttercreams and cheesecakes and things. So what we've got another gold here. So we've got a good yeah, we've got a gold here and use this one. So uh, let's just see what this is like for dry brushing. Oh look at that. Oh I like that. I like them all, don't you, Karen? I do. So we've got plenty of stock. We've bought loads of stock, John and I. We just need to get the labelling done. Um, what I might do is I might even put them on the website pre-labeled. John might go mad for me no, sending John, them out. John's going to go mad. But <laughs> I'll speak to him. And if any of you are interested and you're quite happy just to have a sticky on them at the moment with the name of what they're going to be, um, we might send them out. I might get them out on a little bit of a discount for you because they've got no label on while we get the labelling made. Would that appeal to you? They love that. They love that dry brushing because someone's just going to say, we're just going to ask you to do some dry brushing and it yeah. looks gorgeous. Doesn't it? That's nice, that. And thank you for people saying that you love watching me do the lines and that I, you've watched me blossom with confidence and skill. Yeah. And you know, Karen's so, worked really hard this year. You've got to remember, I shoved Karen in front of the camera. She nearly freaking died. She was only here to help in the kitchen. And she's been bunged onto the live. Not only did she get one live, she got two every week. Oh, that was a good live, Karen. Do Fridays. Uh, you know, God bless her. She's taken over on a live when I've not been um, great. She's also taken over on a live when I've been busy doing something else and she's had to get them started. She does all the comments for the classes. She's absolutely brilliant. Terry, oh, no, Terry, open oh, the double doors. No. Need to go. No, you're not. You're, you're not a side. You're <laughs> not a side. No. No, she's brilliant, our oh, Karen. She is. I agree. Michelle, don't be scared to try the macarons. Honest to God, just follow the recipe. They're absolutely great. Follow the recipe. You might muck it up the first time. I, the very first time I did the macarons, and I saw somebody write about it, and somebody said, oh, you didn't see Carol's second post. The first time we did the macarons, we realised that we put maybe too much almond flour, uh, almond um, in them. And um, what it was is Claire Corbett has made macarons with our flavoured icing sugars for years. She's done loads of lives. So what I did is I followed that with the whipping it up, but didn't make the meringue uh, with real egg white. I made it with the whipping it up first. And, um, and I put uh, the almonds in it and then I realised that it was too much, but it was too late. We were going live then. And then the next live, I actually came back and said, listen, put less in. So I'm just going to twist these a little bit. <laughs> yeah, they're beautiful. They're cut. We don't need a label. Pardon? We don't need a label. You don't want a label. <laughs> so I just number them one to five for now then. <laughs> this is number one. <laughs> well, what, I might, the warehouse. what I might do is I might ask John. John might say, no, we can't. But, what I, but I always get my own way, you know, I do. So, <laughs> I'll be saying to John, listen, John, let's get them out there. Let's get everybody loving them and seeing what they're like, okay? But um, you're going to love these. The mum says, yeah, please. Not one about fancy labels. It's the, con it's the contents what's important. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> so I'm just going to think about how I'm going to dry brush this a minute. So, oh, all the brushes are in stock, by the way. Look, all the brushes are in stock. Can I ask you, are you doing them two different colours on two different layers? Well, I because don't I've got know. an idea how on, to do it. Got? Do a bit of a number, I think. No, yeah. you could, I could get a, the big um, grease proof circle. We could cut a circle out and you can put it over. It's like a collar, so you can do the top bit first. Mm. And then we take it off, cut it off, and then you can do your bottom bit a different one. Mm. And I get one of the we grease proof could, yeah. circles out now. What colour do you think we should do the bottom? I think the bottom has definitely got to be one of the darker, one of the darker ones. ones. Yeah. 
So we are playing with this cake here. What do we think here? Do we want this really bright? Got that bright gold is massive, really bright. That is Can you really, see it? But Sorry. Great for the top. Can you see it? Yeah, it's going for the top, isn't it? That's great for the top. What, what should we do the bottom of the cake with, girls? Do you know what? I like, I like that one. Do you? Yeah. yeah, I like that one. Let's see. If... Go on. What's the boat? This one or that one? Do you like this one? Yeah. Yeah, I, I think so. It's beautiful. Yeah. And these. Uh, I see what you're saying, yeah. Right, let's dry brush this round here a minute. So you've got it like a collar, then it won't touch it. Yeah, I'll let you cut that out then. Was this, one, was this a circle we used? Great. Yeah, but you might have to go a bit bigger. I know, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go a little a bit bigger on that. Where's my tin? Um, so where's my tin? Pardon? Where's my tin? I know. So, um, yes, look at this, look, new brush. I haven't had a picture taken of it yet. Isn't that lovely? So I'm just going to tap some of this on here. Are you enjoying this live, everybody? Karen's over there now, so... I'm going to do two tips and back again then. Right, okay. So, a little bit on the brush, and then we're just going to... Ooh, look at that. Ooh. Now, this is just a light dusting. What are you doing, you? Why are you over there now? I want a better shot. You want a better shot? Yeah, it's good here. I think I might mm. prefer this wet, actually, than uh, dry brushing. So you get more in here, you get 10, 10 grams in here. I'm back. There you go. Mm -hmm. Is it blinging this? That is blinging, it certainly is. What are we doing the bling bling? What do you think we should call this? It's sugar and crumbs, but what range should we call it? So we've got the flavoured icing sugars, we've got whipping it up, we've got sprinklicious, what do you think we should call our dust? We can't call it bling bling because Magic Colours call theirs bling bling. We can't call it twinkle dust because Rainbow Dust call theirs rainbow dust. Bling delicious. <laughs> <laughs> bling delicious. I've said delicious at the end of everything. <laughs> New name. <laughs> so this is going on dry this. Is it sugar and crumb sparkle? Sugar and crumb, that's not very exciting, is it? Sparklicious. <laughs> <laughs> you could end up with a packet of sprinkles with our lads. <laughs> uh, Michelle says uh, sparkle bright. Mm. We've got blinging it up. Lush lustre. I like lush lustre. Shine time. <laughs> Shine time. <laughs> Um, the bling range. The bling range. Sparkle with us. I like that name as well. Our best dust yet. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Judy. <laughs> Sparkle with us. That's off Nikki. Yeah. Carol, I have a thinking cap. She'll wake up one morning about four o'clock in the morning and go, I've got the name. I did that with whipping up. You did, all, up, the way, all the way down to each of you were doing I, uh, that. I set up a little group to say to, to everybody, what should we call this new product? And as they were bringing the names in, I said, I've got it. Yeah. <laughs> whipping it up. And they went, oh yeah, we all like that. Tanya says, winging it wonder dust. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like wonder dust. Yeah. Wonder dust. We've got star dust off Lisa Matusha. <gasps> Michelle Quinn, not a chance. What? Muff dust. <laughs> <laughs> John will kill us. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You're terrible. We can't really use sugar sparkles because this, this, yeah. this, uh, like the, they've got, you've got brand. magic sparkles, haven't you? What did you like just that. say on there, Terry, then? Wonder dust. Wonder I dust. like wonder, wonder dust. Wonder dust sounds nice. Mm. Deborah says dazzling dust. Dazzle right, dust. so I'm just going to go across the top here, which is what Karen asked me not to do. 
But we're going to hide a lot of this yeah. with roses in a minute. Right, okay, so Karen's cut me a collar, which I'm going to go, oh, I'm going to see. Don't worry if it breaks. So I'm just to go down over here, just to protect it a little bit. Clever is our Karen, see? We all need a Karen. <laughs> <laughs> Who's enjoying this live then? Oh, I like that. What do you think of that then? I love it. I think it's gorgeous, that. <laughs> I think I might have preferred to put it on wet, actually. Oh, why don't you try the top wet? Should we try the top wet? Yeah, so, just, like you said, we're practicing, we're just playing, we aren't we? With? Yeah, what colour did we go well, with? Well, they were all saying they love ruby, but you you said you liked... Um, oh, no, you said you were going to go with the, the bright gold, didn't you? Should we go with the bright... Do you think the bright gold and that would be right? Do you think them two colours would be right? Which two colours go together? I think they all go together. You think so? <laughs> so that's yeah. that gold there. And we haven't used that gold yet. Oh, yeah. Oh, we haven't used this gold well, yet. Well, you know what? Just, just let's Should use it. Should we just it. use let's this just one? Let's just use it. Yeah, we've no, Barbara, the dust aren't on sale yet because they've only just, they've actually just arrived about half an hour ago in the building. So uh, We have been testing them. <laughs> we didn't just buy them. And just, no, no, no. So, so we have been <laughs> testing them. We've only just come back from the packaging place. Yes. So they've gone off to be packaged. So now we've got to get them labelled. So um, and what named. I said is and named. <laughs> we should have thought about that really. The names. <laughs> so they've just got they've come they've come in and we just haven't um, named we haven't named them haven't labelled them. But I might ask John if we can put them on sale without a name, um, just so that you can start using them straight away. Actually, I think you might want to. I think we might have to think of some names to put them on sale with first, yeah. and we'll just stick a little sticker on for the moment. I'll put some product info on them. Right, so we haven't tried this colour. So let's try this colour, see what this looks like. So we wouldn't normally do a gold cake with two different golds on, but it's more so you can see all the different colours. So. Wonder dust. <laughs> I like wonder I dust, do you? Like what do you think of that? I do like it's... that. Somebody else on it said they looked, they like that name, wonder dust. I thought you were going to do that wet. Oh, did I say I'd do it wet? Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> um, actually, I might do it wet, actually. Right, let's change the plan. Let's do that wet. It shines, though, there, though, dry dusted, though, do doesn't it? Or well, should I carry on dry, actually? Do you know what? It's actually looking all right, oh, dry. Like yeah. I like that colour. Pardon? I like that colour. So with this mould, yeah, I've got to dig it in a little bit. I think I will give it a bit of a... I think I'll do it wet. I oh, don't know. I don't know what to do. What should we do? I'd wet it. You'd Just wet it. Well, mm -hmm. also we can see both. We can see... People can see dry dusting and wet dusting. Yeah, right, uh, wet right. dusting. <laughs> painting. <laughs> okay, let's do that. So if you're wondering why I've left those colours in there, it's because I'll show you a little trick. So when they're dry, your dust, okay, you don't throw them away. So the, this isn't dry yet, it's right. But, but basically, when it's dry, leave it overnight, use your brush, and then it all powders back up again. Nikki said, is it too many holes with uh, wet dust? Well, that's what I'm worried about, that yeah. it is too many holes with wet dust. Yeah, do you know what? I think I'll stick it yeah. dry. We'll do wet another time on a flat one. We've got the honeycomb to do next week. We can actually do it then. Yeah, let's just keep doing dry. Because that's what I'm thinking. I'm yeah. thinking it's going to go in the holes and then it's going to leak out, isn't so it? So why don't you do a wet one on top? Yeah, we could do that, couldn't we? Yeah, that's good girl, Nikki. Yeah, she's earned a prize now, hasn't she? <laughs> So this wasn't meant to be part of the live today. <laughs> I was actually going to spray these. <laughs> I was going to use the uh, Cake Star um, spray. <laughs> but we may as well do our own colours, aren't we? So would you be happy then for these to uh, go on the website without any labelling at the moment, if I can convince John? Just where he sorts the labels out. 
So we might as well start selling them, might we? Yeah, well, as long as I put all yeah. the as long as I put the ingredients on the website. Yeah. Do you like my little invention as well? I do like the little <laughs> invention. That's why I said. So it's here. Right, we have a Karen. Brilliant as our Karen. Definitely yes from Debbie to start selling them. If we can get round John. Yes, 100% from Michelle. Listen, we'll have no problem with John. He thinks that he's the boss, but he's only the boss on the days I let him. Yeah. We'll just give him, we'll, we'll just give him some uh, Holy Grail, is any left? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's been in here, nose back in that today. He certainly has, that, that comb's yeah. nearly empty. Yeah. I know, I'm very sad. <laughs> So um, anyhow, so some other news. So quite a lot of you do message me as well. Um, as from this week on Saturdays, five o'clock, my phone is going off. Good girl. So I'm really sorry, but I've really got to start taking some time off. So on Saturdays now, five o'clock, all my messages go off. WhatsApp, everything goes off. I'm going to give the kids a way of being able to get hold of me for an emergency. And then, um, and I'm not looking on any Facebook things, nothing. So I know some of you are glad that I'm going to do that and probably think, am I not going to do it? But this weekend, I really, I really took to the, took to my city. I really did not feel great. And um, I actually was seriously concerned about myself. Don't know whether you know, but I've actually got an ear infection as well. I'm trying to phone the doctors. So as you know, I'm not going to go and sort my back out yet. But I phoned the doctors and the doctors, the doctors was closed. It said phone 111. I phoned 111 and they said don't phone them, phone the emergency, but only if it's an emergency. So I can't phone them about my ears for an emergency, can I? So I gave up. So I've actually self sorted myself out. So um, I don't know what's going on with my ears, but it felt like I was underwater. And they've all said on here, it's about time. Yeah, and I am going to. I promised John that I'll have a life. And it's not that when all this finishes, my kids all my life, or my children will all tell you, I've always been attached to my work, always. In all my jobs I've had, I've always been totally dedicated, never had any rest, always walked around with earphones in my ears, meals, go out for family meals, everything. And I'm there. And then I leave the meal, I go outside, go out problem solving. Come back, your meal's cold. Meal's cold, yeah. And the kids go mad. And now I've got grandchildren and I've done it to the older grandchildren as well. So what I'm going to do here now is, so let me just, um, so this fabric puff is going to take up a lot of your colour, this dry dusting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wet dust on here, the bronze. Looks nice, that doesn't it? Look at that. Does. Right, let's wet dust this then. So one second. Have you still got your, have you still got your, your dusting brush for the uh, other gold one that you used? Yeah. Only because you've got a couple of spots on there that's showing white. Right. Okay, no worries. So let's just get the uh, paint out a minute, just one second. Well, I'm impressed with these colours, mm. really impressed. Well, well it's the first time we've had a little play with them. Yeah, isn't they're gorgeous. Just looks like, on, that Kate Nate, just looks like you took a polisher to it, because it's that shiny. So hopefully Carol will have a word with John and hopefully sometime at the beginning of next week. Oh no, we're, we're on Tuesday now, aren't we? Yeah, we are, I know. Tuesday, <laughs> Friday, doesn't it? So some, hopefully, hopefully, some, if you week, can get around with John, sometime this week they probably might, might be going on sale. I really thought it was the end of the week then. <laughs> because Carol talked about put, turning her phone off. Yeah. <laughs> So anything that dries in your dish, just leave it and then you can tap it back in your pot afterwards. If you wet luster, if you wet it goes further by the way. 
dry dry luster does take it a long way i did think about as i say painting it but then i thought oh crikey it's all lot, the little crevices it's a lot of time but, um, consuming isn't it yeah but to be fair i'm thinking that maybe i might even go over this with wet just filling some bits hey all of it or just filling in bits might just fill in some bits so just got to let that dry yeah. This looks great now, doesn't it? Just got to let that dry and then yeah. just taking off the excess now. And then we'll... Uh... That is absolutely... Look at it. I'm looking on the iPad there, Karen. I mean, I look and see it, but it's absolutely gorgeous. Sir. Is it? It is so shiny. Right, and then... What this one? It looks like you've just took a polisher to it. Does it, really? Yeah, it really does. It's great. Let's put this one in here. I think so. it's super effective. It is, it's dead effective, isn't it? It's really effective. So, all those people have won two each. So, John's not here. So, let's, John, John's not here. Okay. So, let's do another ten winners. But people we don't know, Karen. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oops. People we don't know, in. Karen. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, I want you to, Karen. So, yeah. one, um, all you new people. Oh, sorry, that's my hand there. So John has just walked back in. So anyhow, as I told you, I'm the boss here. So, <laughs> don't be looking at me like that, you. Is that why it's come back in now? Is yeah. it? <laughs> so have we got any new people on Facebook watching us today? Or people who don't really comment that often because yeah. they're shy. So let's find, come on, give us a comment of why we should give you two of these. Yeah, come on. How's the new colours looking? Oh, yeah, super. Can't you see them? absolutely so what they're just saying john can we get them on sale no we've got no names and labels for them but if i put them on set it's so miserable <laughs> <laughs> can you guess ladies there's a shake of the head there they're all showing hi john <laughs> hello everyone <laughs> now come on i know who's new and who's not new gillian smith or gradisi <laughs> there so look brush that on look at that gold there not that lovely that that is that? beautiful. That is it. lovely. So that's not gone on wet there. Amazing. Suzanne Wall says she doesn't often comment, but she loves our products. There you go. She's one too. Suzanne Wall. <laughs> As a way <laughs> to tell it. <laughs> Just actually. So this puff here is actually quite big. It's, I think. I think. Do you know what we've rushed this because we're doing this live? But I think, if, if I'm honest, in retrospect, you should have painted this. We should have painted it then just, it'll go a lot further as well. Nikki says, John, we need these, honestly. We really need them quickly, John. I don't know why we can't put them on. If I put the ingredients on the website, and then we just put a little sticker on, temporary label, ingredients on the website, that's all that really matters, isn't it? If I read names out, Carol, you'll recognise names, won't you? Yeah. Tracy Brown says she's newish. She is, go on. Tracy Brown. Um, Sharon Carter says she's shy. Sharon Carter? <laughs> Sharon, I'm not going to get away with that one, Sharon Carter. Hey? Not a chance. You're terrible, you lot. We're going to give away... Um... Sharon Carter says, think of the sales job. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to give away another 10 sets of twos. Okay. Carol Shields says, me because I watch all the time from work. Go on then. <laughs> Actually, do you know what girls, I like this wet brush better. Yeah. Vicky Don, I'm watching and working at the same time so I don't comment a lot. Thank you for making me laugh during these lives. Yeah, go on then. I know Vicky Don. Vicky Don, D O N. Yeah. Sharon's just laughing at you now. <laughs> Go on, Sharon. <laughs> You've got to me. Go on, then. Sarah Parks says, I'm new on TikTok. I haven't got a clue what I'm doing. Got to ask my 11 year old hashtag. <laughs> <laughs> are you a baker, Sarah? Did she say Sarah? Did you say Sarah? Sarah Park, yeah. Yeah. Are you a baker, Sarah? A cake decorator? And Tracy said, I thought it wouldn't be just for the name of the noodle. Yes. Who was that, Tracy? Who? Tanya Hibbert. Oh, go on, then. Yeah, you did think of it. We're not sure whether we're going to go with that name, but I like it so far. I'm asking what, about names. Yeah. Do you like that? So it's quite well, nice. it's on our quite a few names. Do you like that? Terry's got licious on everything. Did you get, did you get um, Sharon Carter on your list? Yeah, Sharon Carter. 
For a cheek. For a cheek. Actually, you know what, girls? I actually prefer to paint this on. Yeah. I think it looks better painted. What about Wonder Dust Delicious? <laughs> Super Do you like the name Wonderlust, John? <laughs> Wonder, I like Wonderlust. Because we can't have bling bling, because magic colours have Wonder bling dust. bling. Wonder dust we can't have, twinkle, oh, we can't yeah. have We can't have twinkle dust, because rainbow dust have that. It's evolving now. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderlust. <laughs> Wonder dust, that's it. Not Wonderlust. Wonderlust dust. Hey, I like that. What do you think of that? That's nice. I actually think, girls, painting it's best. I've just gone Sarah over with the paint. Says, yeah, she's a cake decorator. Yeah, there you go. Write a name down, sorry. And can How many have you got I'm now? Just like you tell me what I've got. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I think definitely paint. One, two, three, four, it's actually gone on really nice, that. 17, 18. We've got two more. Yeah, we've got two more. Yeah, we've got two more. Leah Gillum. Oh yeah, I've got to Me, please. Some. I never win anything. My grandson's due today and he's not go arrived, on. so I need oh. a consolation prize. Yeah, no, go on, Leah. Leah Gillum. Yeah. There, right. I actually think, girls, the painting's better. What do we think about that? I yes. Agree. Yeah. Yes. The painting's far better, yeah, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. And do you know what? It wasn't that bad. I was worried about painting, thinking it would drip down, but it's not. It's not. No. So uh, I think I might go over that. Yeah, and you've got a bit of white at the back. Yeah. yeah. And then the last one, how about, the, she says she's going to be really, really good from now on, if you let her, Michelle Ward Richard, and she won't bring Richard up anymore. Was it you I had to message the other day, Richard, <laughs> Michelle? I messaged one of you, Michelle's, over the other day, but I didn't know which one it was. <laughs> Tell me, was it you or was it the other one? Depends on how that conversation went. <laughs> Um, was that the colour that I did there? Oh, 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 oh. Let's just do that. They said that painted is stunning. Yeah, I think we'll paint these. I'm just going to paint in. Do you know what? I, I actually prefer the bit. Look at that. That's it's nicer. Deep. It's deeper. Yeah. Yeah, paint, girl. Don't dry. At least we've tried it, though, haven't we? I mean, probably like you said, it goes better if you dry dust it. It'd be better if it's on something more flatter. Yeah. And it's like your chocolates. The dry dusting the chocolates is, is really bling them up. But when you're doing something with a lot of detail oh, yeah, on the mould. Oh, Karen mold... was dry dusting chocolate. Have you got any more chocolate, Karen, to do in yeah, front of them? Yeah, there's a couple there. All right. Don't do it yet. No, no, I'll do I'll, it before. No, 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 Pardon? Michelle Ward says, no, it wasn't me. I just get photos of you put onto icing sheets. Right, go on then. You win too. So is it Michelle Ward, Richard yeah. in I've brackets? Down, yeah. yeah. So that's 20 now, ladies. That's it. Yeah, that's it. What we've got to do now, Poor girls... Poor John thinks he's going bankrupt now. What you've, got to, what you've got to do now, girls, is convince John that we can start selling it before we've got the labels on. But I will have to put a little note on to say, read the recipe, read the ingredients... On the website. Oh, that looks miles better. Though. Yeah, I paint Beautiful. this. That looks Star absolutely. Painted. And you know, even in real life, it's absolutely shiny. I mean, I can see the shine on the iPad, and it's and it's not just the camera light ringing up. It really is shiny. Yeah. Do you know what? It's actually far easier. I should have done this yeah. the first way. I shouldn't have been a scaredy cat. What do you think, John? Looks good. They're great, aren't they? Yeah. How's your back, Carol? Helen says. That's why I'm in the sat down position. She says she's sat there with a hot water bottle on hers. Yeah, that's why I'm in the sat down position. Someone put a hook that, please, John. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, John. If you're getting on TikTok as well. <laughs> He's smiling. It looks prom it, it looks a bit promising, girls. He's smiling. I let him have what he wants for tea tonight. Grimace. <laughs> Everyone all at once are about to crack him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Leah, it will look great on your chocolate bombs because I've just uh, yeah, I just did, dusted did one a couple the, of chocolate salt out of the before. mold, and it will bring your chocolate bombs up superb. Oh, I've got some new chocolate molds as well to show you. They're not on the website yet, but I'll get them on. Oh, more uh, they're playing. here. More playing. Hey, yeah, look at that. Look at that. I'm actually pleased with that. Actually. I prefer the wet. 
Sharon says she hopes you've got loads of dusting because you can feel a sellout coming. No, we have got loads then. We bought loads. We're just going to sort out the other colours. We've only bought five colours at the moment. You bought the best five. <laughs> but uh, we've got a whole load of other colours there. There's going to be a riot if you say no, John. Who said that? <laughs> Debbie Hargreaves. <laughs> Yeah, are you just right. tugging on these heartstrings now, aren't you, girls? Maybe if she writes me a song. Yeah, <laughs> she's got to do a song. <laughs> oh, and Sean said, can you get him two bottles of wine, Carol? <laughs> get him two bottles of wine. <laughs> so it's definitely going to write the jingle for the girls. Yeah, it's going to write the jingle. I need to work out. You can help me with this, Terry. Mm -hmm. Te um, Debbie sang us a song just before Christmas about sugar and crumbs, and it was great. It was. And I need to work out how to get it onto the page. Because okay. the only reason it's not there is because I don't know how yeah. to do it. Yeah, we'll find out. And Barbara says, John, you can have whatever you want for your tea because you're cooking it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't do any cooking, John, no, does no it change ever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've lost a the lid. There it is there. Right, I like that. What do you think of that? That's a proper bling bling cake, isn't it? Yes. Right. Right, okay then. So we've got that, we've got that, we've got that. Right, let's get these um, let's get these sugar roses out. So let's get that out of the way. Let's get that out of the way. If an order was placed on Sunday, what's the possibility it's gone? Um, phone the office. I'm just saying to check, check with the office now because the, uh, Michelle said she could get her dust in with her orders. Oh, she still... gets, she'll be the first one to get them then. Did <laughs> <laughs> you know that even got a name? Eh? No, no, the free ones. Oh, the, the free, free ones. One. I said if I can put them in your orders, it will help out. Yes. There's a, every chance it'll still be at the, at the warehouse. Yes. So you just, just want to check with the office as soon as you can, Michelle, and we can get those two free dusts in your order for yeah. you, if it's still in the building. Yeah. Unless she's chosen priority. Yeah, yeah. unless she, yeah, I was going to say. It'll still be there. And other than that, you'll have to do what you just said, place another order. Yeah. <laughs> right, okay then. So, we're going to decorate the rest of it now then. So I am just going to, Karen, have you got any plain chocolate in the fridge? Yeah, Debbie to says you could, she could try recording it and send it to you. If you to. No, but I want her singing yeah. on it. Unless she does it on direct to the page again. No, we can cut it. We'll be able to cut a clip out of the Facebook Live. Yeah, I'll have to see if Terry can yeah. do that for me. I keep forgetting to ask her. Right, okay. I'm going to move out of the way. What? And I'm going to let Karen sit here and just bling a, a bit of the chocolate up for you, okay? Um, just so that I can go and get a, wash my hands and get a quick drink a minute. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you what we're going to do with the sugar roses. Oh, yeah, you're going to you can carry your cake on then, aren't you? Brilliant. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're not finishing the cake. No, you're not going to finish the cake. I thought, I thought, where are you going? I was just thinking, where are you going? No, no. Good. Right. Are you showing this live? Like a share, like a share, like a share. Right. Sorry. It's not like, yeah, that's how I get up. Yeah. So we'll just do a couple of these. These are from what I did yesterday on the live. <laughs> There's, I think he, Bunny's going to get it as well. Hey. Bunny's going to get it. The Bunny's getting it. The Bunny's <laughs> getting it. <laughs> oh, look at that. I'm in the boss's chair. I use a stand up. <laughs> you do have your own chair. <laughs> No, I always stand up on my life, though, because the mine's always whiz up and down, isn't it? Yeah. Right, what should we do? Where's my colours? Oh, look at these. So we've got that one. So we've got a little bit of gold here. This one's the, uh, like the, the bronzy gold. See what that does like on white chocolate, I think. as well so they are a little bit uh, you better leave them to room temperature usually just so not just wipe them with some tissue paper first. I'm gonna do that in a minute just uh just realize on this white one oh that gold's nice isn't it look at that you under the camera then yeah that's lovely that have a look at your camera see where you are oh it's easy yep we'll see where I am <laughs> so we've got I'm just so we've got that one like that. I'm not going to finish it all off because I don't want to waste the dust. So we've got 
that one. I'm going to some of this holy grail. I don't blame you. Do you want some holy grail, Terry? Do I? Do I? <laughs> I'm going to break it up. Uh, yes, please. So let's do bunny with the, the next gold up. Should we call him Keith? We'll call him Keith. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna, so I'm just going to wipe Keith over so he's got no uh, condensation on him. Keith the bunny. <laughs> he's a Keith. In fact, we'll do Keith in two halves. So we'll use this one. So this one is the um, the next. I'm, I'm going to go in the in in order of the colours. You know. Oh. No, he is a bright bunny. He's a bright bunny. Mm -hmm. Let's get his face. I tell you, that cake's blinging from here, isn't it? It certainly is. <laughs> I like Wonder Dust. What do you think, everybody? What do you think? Do you like that name, Wonder Dust? For the brand name for it. Sugar and Crumbs Wonder Dust. I think it sounds lovely, that. Mm. That goes lovely, So look at it? him. As I said, I'm not, I'm not doing all of them. I'm just doing the majority of them, so you can just sit, look at him. Wow. So we've done that one. That and that. Right, and then let's do Keith's other half. <laughs> <laughs> Keith's other half. We'll do him with this lovely... Um, I think that this lovely, like, royal ruby or ruby or... Nikki says Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> and Keith and Kevin. <laughs> I don't want to call that ruby. No, but we've got, got, we got too many, yeah, we've got too many, like, ruby, haven't we, so... Mm -hmm. I don't know what to call it. What would you call that colour? Come on, ladies, what would we call this one? Beautiful, isn't it? Um, a lot of people are saying Wonder Dust sounds wonderful. Mm. Like, a, like a red velvet or something like that. Mm, that's nice, isn't it? Red velvet. Mm. Think of a name for these colours, ladies. I'll just do his face. There we go. Look at look at that. So if you do take your chocolate straight out straight out of the fridge, give it a little white with a tissue paper. It just takes off that the top coat so that uh, the dust sticks onto it that little bit easier. Oh wow. So there we go, and then I've got another gold here, a really bright gold. Strawberry blush. I've got a pink that's coming. Royal red. I've got a red that's coming. Red velvet shine. I think I like red velvet, yeah. Wonderful red. <laughs> Wonderful red. <laughs> that was that one. There we go. So that's gone on the white chocolate beautifully, that one. Mm. So that's a, a really nice shiny one again. That's gorgeous, isn't it? Look at really that. suit the geometric patterns as well. They do, like it brings up different the, shades. And then we've got the rose there. And you know what? I'm going to try this. Um, you don't need a clean brush for that white. I'm going to try this, this, this gorgeous. It's like a. Opaque oh, white, isn't it? We've got Ruby Extreme Shine, Ruby Shoes. Did you see those? These ones here. Rosy Glow. Wow, don't they shine? Gorgeous. So I've got this white one here. So I'm just going to see what it looks like on the milk chocolate. And I could also just do the dark chocolate one quick to see what it looks like on the dark chocolate as well. We'll just use the same white on milk and dark to see whether there's a lot of difference. Suzanne says mellow. <laughs> now that, this white one, we're it just, we're comes, just... I'm going to do the top, that's coming out like a gorgeous, like oh, a bit of like a silver that. That's nice. lovely. Gorgeous. Well, we've got a silver on the way. Yeah, but look at that. That's like a really, um, that's a, a nice shiny one, that one. And then on, that's on milk chocolate. So on the dark chocolate, 
just want to see whether it just changes. We like red velvet over here. Oh. I feel like a mad woman though. <laughs> <laughs> comments to comments to cameras. <laughs> Classy claret. <laughs> Classy claret, I like that one. Do you know where my camera went? It's over there. It's over here. We had to move it. I could do that as well. I'm going to put both cameras on my head. We'll do like it. So that's it on the uh, on the dark chocolate as well. Just to go over it a little bit more. There we go. That's nice, that, isn't it? So do you like them, ladies? So it's really shiny on the milk chocolate. It's shiny. It, it is shiny. It goes a bit more... Um, it's still shiny on the black, but it just takes it a little bit different shape. But Do you know what I think that would be? It'd be lovely on the white sugar paste just to yes. shimmer it up. Yes. So there you go, ladies. There's our chocolate. So we've got Kevin and Keith. <laughs> 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 and then they're both white chocolate, and that's a gorgeous gold on that. Mm -hmm. And that was like the more what I call it. It's like the, we'd have to call it like an Albert gold or something mm -hmm. like that. You know, because it's uh, like 22 karat gold, mm -hmm. that. 22 karat there we go, we'll look at them. We like them, yeah. How are we doing on comments, Terry? The pearly one is gorgeous. Um, we've got a few, uh, a lot of people submitting names. Right. Good. Lovely how many colours there are. Love them. Well, we're going to be bringing in more colours. This is what's just arrived so far. We're having to have them made and then having to have them containered up. Love them, quick, get them up for sale. <laughs> and then having to have them containered up and then we've got to have them um, named. Sorry, I'm on the low camera. <laughs> right, so how are we going to finish our cake off then? So let me just tell you about these. So I have told you about these before, but uh, we've not used them for a long time, so I thought today is the day to use them. Um, so I love it. I, admit, I think it's amazing, you girls who can actually do sugar flowers. Um, but myself, if I was... If I was a cake decorator, <laughs> if I was a cake decorator, I could do without the stress. And I'm all about making my life easy. And um, and I think you know what? If it's some, if it's a passion and you enjoy it, don't take that passion away. But if you hate making roses, then there's a really simple way around. So this one here is called um, this one's the mixed packed roses. So these are this are lovely, and they taste like. So look. It tastes like those gorgeous candy sticks, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, they look nice. So, so that's the mixed ones, okay? And they taste super, super yummy. So you get five of the, no, you get six of the small ones, four of the medium, and two of the large. But we're not using them today. That's for Karen. Then you can do, look at this lovely lemon for Easter. So I'm going to use these at Easter with the nifty nozzles as well. I might make an Easter bonnet. So on one of my lives, I think I might make an Easter bonnet. And uh, we're going to use the lemon ones. Yeah. So they're there. Oh, sorry, TikTokers. You can't see what we're doing, can you? I'm about to. <laughs> there we go. There we go. So they're the lemon ones, aren't they? Love. If you notice this one missing, it's because I had to taste them for the team. <laughs> <laughs> we have to make sure that they're edible enough for you ladies and carol took it for the and team look at that peach look at that lovely peach and of course you can airbrush these so let me take them out so they just pop out so when you get them right when you get them you do get like a little cover over the top you may just have to stick your finger underneath the packaging just to push them up so just push them up like that look there they are they're perfect roses there they are underneath so you can't wire them, okay, but I'm going to show you how we're going to stick them to the cake. Yeah, but aren't they lovely? That's the peach ones. And then, and there's more than enough here for a cake. So, uh, they come in there. so they're called Sugar Soft. I've been selling these for a long time, all right, but quite a lot of you people buy them. And of course, if you want to luster them up, you can luster them. That's the pink set. Yeah, so TikTokers, pink set. There you go. So anybody who hates making roses or can't make roses, I've just found you a knocked out. Look at these white. <laughs> so I'm not taking the white one, the white covering off. But you get this like covering over the top. So that's for the white ones there. But these are the ones that I'm going to use today. And I don't even know whether I should use these now because I don't know whether it'll look right with the colour of the cake. We'll just try. Just Black try a couple roses. Off. 
black roses. So what I thought we would do is get some of the black roses out and I thought that we will paint round a couple of the edges. I've already done one of the edges on there. So how are we going to fit them to the cake you're asking? Yeah. So are you enjoying this live ladies? It's a really easy way and you can charge a lot of money for this cake. So we've got a six, a six inch cake and a four inch cake. And look how big it is now. So um, so that, that fabric uh, puff there. So let's just move these all out of the way. And then and that it looks like with these flowers now, so you don't need to tell anybody about wires in them. Okay, so you don't need to tell about wires. You don't need to tell them they can't eat them. These are 100% edible. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to get our little dust. And they're very tasty, so they're not. Yeah. It's, it's when you say you can't eat some sugar paste, uh, some um, flour paste. These are gorgeous. Um, I'm just going to test what it looks like, just just to know these a minute. So I'm just gonna let me get a bit of kitchen roll in a minute. So you can paint the edges if you want, or you can do just a quick dry dust over them. But let's just see what this take off the excess. So I'm just gonna look at that. Oh. <laughs> what? Have you just a eh? I love it. Do you like it? Yeah, that's really good on the camera. So so we're just look, there we go. That it's looks just like an antique, edges, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, but it looks like an antique rose, doesn't it? Yeah. Look. Yeah, so we'll do a couple of these. So that's the big one as well. And then what I want to do is because I've got different colours of the of the leaves here. So uh, let's get my brush. So let's just use what's in there. And put that on there. So you only want a light dust, just to give it a little bit. There you go. Do you like this? That's amazing. So just to bring it together. And then we've got the other lemon, uh, yellow gold here. So we'll just put that on there. Deborah says, what a difference it makes. Yeah. Gone a little bit over the top of that one. But what we'll do is, I'll just take it out. So just take it out because it was just a little bit too bling bling. I'll just dust a bit of that out there. Did you go bling crazy? Yeah. <laughs> but it makes it really antique doesn't it? Yeah. Mm. It brings them to life, doesn't it? With them being the black yeah. ones, it just bit that bit of dust on them there brings them to life. Yeah. So then how are we going to fit them to our cake? Right, yeah. so is this the sugar paste? Here we go. So we've got the sugar paste here. Okay. When's your, just while we do that, when's your three parts sphere mould back in stock? Three part. oh, she's told me that they're arriving on the 19th of February and then I should get them round about the 21st, 22nd of February. And the geo hearts will be in then as well. So I'm just going to stand up now, right, which is going to be the front of my cake. Well, it all looks good, so there's no front and back on that, Carol, it's all brilliant. It looks good, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. So we're just going to... Put this on here. I'm going to sit this on here. So I just need a bit of water to make that sit on there. Right, I'm just going to um, dust this, paint this up a minute. So let's put some rejuvenator in here a minute. Nikki says the black and the gold looks stunning. Yeah. Who knew about these roses? Who remembers when I showed you on a live? I showed you on a live about 18 months ago. So some of you still buy them. And then I see some of you don't, but they're under Sugar Soft on the website. So I'm just going to, I know this is a different gold from the actual, but we don't want the white sugar paste showing through. In fact, it just shows you the other gold now painted on, doesn't it? You see that on the camera so uh this is so that we don't want white showing through that's all so i would have painted i should have painted it the same one but you're not going to see a few of them remember you doing that live pardon a few remember you doing the live you remember yeah I showed you before yeah so then what we're going to do now is we're going to sit you just push them you don't have to be that delicate with these Right, I'm 
we need a little bit more sugar paste, one second. Let me just wet this sugar paste on here. So I'm just going to wet this sugar paste on here. I'm going to wet that on there, stick that on there. Ah, uh, Nikki's already, she said she's had two packs of the roses from you. Yeah, have you? Love some. Yeah, they're great. So there you go. So just wet a little bit of sugar paste. So you want to do this little mound for building them on. Let's just wet this again. I do need to try and poke in a couple of leaves. Need a little pokey stick. Poke them in. Nikki said it's so easy when your fingers don't work, when, when your fingers don't want to work. Yeah, well the thing is I hate making flowers and you know what, I've been shown loads of times to make them and I had a lovely cake artist here last year, I swear to God she might have wanted to kill me because we started making flowers, it's Kim Firth and we started making flowers and I went, you know what Kim, I've got better things to do with my life than make these and uh, she sat there and enjoying herself making them and I, I was dying. So I said, I said, I'm too busy, got too much to do, I'll leave you to it, love. And she, she did laugh, she took it the right way, you know, but, you know, some of you love it and, it, you know, you love it and you enjoy it, but I don't enjoy it at all. I love seeing what you all make when you can make them. But then I look hard at all that hard work and then no bugger can eat them. Terry. I'm just doing everything. You're doing everything. I know what you're doing. I'm reading <laughs> comments. I'm doing cameras. I'm adjusting everything. Like thinking, what is she doing? Here, there, and everywhere. So the good thing I is, like, if you do give somebody a cake like this and they go to the wedding, you don't need to worry about the kids nicking the flowers because that's what they do, isn't it? The yeah. kids. <laughs> Years before the brides cut it. Yeah. I know. <laughs> I know. They did that to my daughter's <laughs> wedding cake. They were like, they were straight in there. <laughs> So you don't, don't need to worry. And you can't tell kids, can you, when they want it, they want to eat it. And you go, no, you can't eat it. Right. I just need to get another leaf under there. Margaret said, these colours are amazing. Which Margaret's that? Margaret Irving. Ah, oh, hello, Margaret. You've just won yourself two dust. <laughs> Right, a name down. She's gone, she's gone over a quarter again, aren't you, Terry? Yeah, yeah. always. <laughs> <laughs> she's the boss, she's allowed to. He's not here, is he? He <laughs> <laughs> could be listening in there. <laughs> he's, making, he's making an appearance. <laughs> we all need to get work. Yeah. Yeah. If you've won the dust, if you've got an order, or you've got an order coming in in the next few weeks, it doesn't. I'm not asking you to do an order now. If you've got an order coming in in the next few weeks, I'll pop it, it would be easier for me to pop it into that order. But if you haven't got an order, I'll post it to you. But all you've got to do is write to info.sugarandcrumbs at icloud.com and um, the girls will send it out to you. They say it would be easier in an order because it's going to be a lot safer. Yeah, and then if it's in an order, all you need to do is in the order comments is just say, look at the winners list, I won two dust. It just makes it easier for us really. 
Remember, ladies, it's two random colours you're getting. You're not, you can't choose your colours. You're just going to get two random colours sent out to you. Yeah, but they're all nice. They're, they're all absolutely beautiful. The one thing is, you won't get the two golds together. You'll either get one of them and a gold, or one of them and a gold, um, or a white one. And he says, you're a great multitasker, Terry. Thank you, Tanya. <laughs> she don't moan like Simon, does she? Give <laughs> compliments, hey. Colin. Yes, Simon. Oh, I don't know whether I can do that. Oh, what's it like him? Oh, yeah. Well, I hope you don't ask him to do TikTok on this at the hey. same time. <laughs> we asked him to... Mine will blow. <laughs> Last week, he had to look after the kids and do the kids live. And we said to him, he's got to take the pictures. She said, he in his face. He said, what do you mean I've got to take the pictures? <laughs> so he said, well, Terry can. <laughs> he went, well, tell Terry to get in here then. He's like, yeah, just tell us to come in and just do it. <laughs> Sorry, Simon. He's too busy stroking his beard. That's his problem. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta have a dig at the beard, haven't you? <laughs> right. So all you're going to do is put some leaves in. I don't want to stick my head in over the top there. Um, June asks... I don't think the comments are showing from Facebook Live, so I'll come here to tell you. Oh, she needs to swipe them. You must have swiped them off, that's why. If your comments aren't showing on your iPad, you've swiped them off. You need to swipe left again. No. Either way, just try it though, come on. You need to just swipe yeah, if on you, your... If you swipe right, they go off. If you swipe left, they come back. Yeah. The comments are there because everybody's commenting. So what do we think of that? Yeah, Lynn, Lynn Toft is going, poor, poor Simon. Hope you're feeling sorry for him, Simon. Is that Lynn Toft? Right, so what we're going to decide is going to be the front of the cake then. So. <laughs> what? Simon needs to be on the mass Singer and we can chant, take it off, take it off. <laughs> yeah, Carol is going to put some roads on the side. You're preempting it there, Barbara. <laughs> it's, uh, it's going, it's going, it's going. It's going, it's going. So let me just stick a few leaves in first. So, Carol, where's this cake going? I don't know. I don't know. I can talk about this. Where is this cake going? Do you know what? I think I might phone Seashell Trust and see yes. if they want it. Yeah. For the deaf. Oh, actually, oh no, you know what Lynn said to me? Lynn Toff, who gives them to the district nurses, asked me would I give them to the hospice down the road. And I never thought about the hospice down the road. So there you go. So Lynn. I'll phone them. <laughs> yeah, Just Lynn's remind me the now. name, yeah. If you can remind us the name, Lynn, and then Carol will get in touch. Patricia Turnbull said that looks so professional. Debbie's going, wow, wow, wow. Janet Smith loved this cake. It's so shiny. It's fabulous. And Sharon says that cake would cost a fortune if you were buying it. Yeah, exactly. Look at that. Cheat. Everything's a cheat. Love it, don't we? Don't we love a cheat? So, I love because even the top part, Carol, that you painted that's dry now, it's still so very, very shiny. Yeah. So just wet your sugar paste. Blue, Doesn't matter if you've got fingers on it there. Bluebell Ward at Blue the Meadows. Bells. At the so Meadows, that's it. everyone's saying you're not seeing comments. What, on TikTok? No, on Facebook. Well, they can't because Karen's reading the comments. I'm reading the comments. I'm in the Butter Cream Flowers group, so we'll just go. Unless it's on the live. Yeah. I definitely am. I'm in the Butter Cream Flowers group and I've got comments here. Have I'm a look on the not... actual Sugar and Crumbs page. Yeah, I can't it. give you my yeah. phone. <laughs> I'll do like a fifth screen. <laughs> <laughs> so, but it must be there. We're doing everything Otherwise, else, Otherwise, I don't even know. Oh, okay. IT wizard. <laughs> don't call me on that later, though. Until you stand off. I can see the comments. I'm yeah. seeing them. And the good thing with these is they're hard. So press it in the centre. Definitely on Facebook comments. Yeah, so press comments. in the centre there. So they're not like your um, sugar flowers where you can't press in. So press in. So Judy said, if you put the puffs the other way and gave it a green top, it could be a pineapple. Yes, that's true. Oh, pineapple. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. So, so if you push into the centre, don't push on the petals. Right in the centre, push them in. 
And you might share it'd be lovely for a golden wedding, this cake. There you go. Never would have thought black roses would look so beautiful. Yeah. And the good thing with these is you don't have to colour them black because they're already done for you. Mm. Look at that. There we go. There's our cake. We're done. What time is it? Ooh, we're only five minutes late as well. So we've given out loads of prizes. Loads of prizes. And Karen made all these leaves for now. <laughs> They'll go in a box. They will, they will store. Stay. So um, we'll save them there. Let me just show these three new molds that I'm going to put on the website as well. Let's them. Four, yes, sorry, there's four of these. So let me just show you these. So this one is, uh, this is not the geometric hearts, but it is hearts. And I'll get them on the website tonight, look at them. So there's uh, their hearts. Then we've got the heart lollies. So that's just where you're going to put your stick in them. Oh, by the way, Lynn mentions it's definitely your best one yeah thanks Lynn <laughs> <laughs> so there's the heart lollies so you just put your lolly stick in there and then this one's just your double heart so I'm going to put these on the website after this live so there's your double hearts yeah and then the last one is if you want your little bottles Chocolate bottles. Oh, Ooh, I knew you took your eyes up for that one. So look at these. These can make your little bottles. Have you seen them? Oh, when they come out from Simon, they're back in there in my little box yeah. in here. So if you do them and you've got your edible sheets and then you've got, um, yeah, little bottles there. Uh, six little bottles. Cute, aren't they? And then if you've got your edible printers, you could make a little wafer label and put them on. Absolutely. And then you could do you could paint the tops gold, little gold tops, couldn't you? And you can fill them with fluff. <laughs> yeah, fill them with fluff. Yeah, that's good. So they're going to go on the website afterwards. So and then next week, ladies, just let me tell you what we're going to make next week because it's our last live. That's um, out of the group, out of the bus cream flowers group on Tuesday. So next week we're going to use these molds. So we're going to use the honeycomb small mold, the honeycomb continuous mold there. We're going to use the large one, okay. I've got an idea of what I'm going to make with my cake. We're going to use some of the flowers and we're going to use uh, the bees. Zuz and friends, that's who we're going to use. So we're going to use them next week. So if you are doing your shopping and you want those, and then what, we're, what, we're, what we plan to do, and I've not made it yet, <laughs> so uh, I've not made it yet, but I'm going to give it a go. Uh, my idea is is to make a sugar sheet. I was telling Karen today, so we're going to make a sugar sheet out of granulated sugar. So we're going to have a cake there, and I think we might do a two tier as well. So we're going to have a cake there. So I'm going to put some of the honeycomb there, wrap the sugar cake uh, sugar sheet round it so that you can see the honeycomb. Then up here we'll do some decorations here, and we'll put the bees and the flowers on and some bits of things on like that. What do you think? Brilliant. And we might use some more of these roses, stick some of the bees on them. So I'm baking See? again, Emma. You're baking again, Karen. <laughs> <laughs> so I hope you've enjoyed this live today. So if you're in the Bush Cream Flowers, I'll save this live into the new name called Guides. So if you're in any of the class groups, they're called Guides. If you want to join my Bush Cream Flowers class, it's £75. You can pay in payments. We're actually very good. Pay over six months. There's 20 plus classes in there and it was meant to be 30 flowers, one flower per week. And we did, I think we've done 26, 27 classes, yeah. but a lot of them got two flowers per week. The ladies here, they're watching, they'll tell you, it's a, such a lovely group. Um, do join it, it's lovely. It's Tuesday afternoons at two o'clock. But after Christmas, I was meant to be having two weeks here and then I was meant to be going to Dubai on holiday for two weeks. And I should have been coming back last weekend, yeah. just gone. And then this week was going to be a week where I sort of like, what the hell's going on with the company? And uh, have a look at that. And then uh, next week we're going to start again. But I'm actually going to go and do the honeycomb yeah. cake for you next week. And then the group is closed and then we're going back to flowers. And we're going to go back over all the flowers again. Except this year we're going to be using the whipping up. So we're going to do buttercream. But then as we go through the year we're going to move over to whipping and up And Nikki's well. just come onto the main page now and she just says, Ladies, you're going to have to join our buttercream flowers group because you're going to miss us. 
Yes, the Butter Green Flowers group is an amazing group. It's such a lovely group in there. And it's very personal in there as well. We have really nice personal chats in there. We've had a few tears and a few sad things yeah, in there, yeah, haven't yeah. we? But it has been lovely to be in there. And it's the same with my Cupcake Bouquet class. Now, what you need to remember where my classes are different from everybody else's. Everybody else does their class and that's them done, gone. That's your class forever. My classes are continuing. So my Bouquet class now will be every couple of months. So we'll do the Mother's Day one and like I say I feel guilty because I moved it from February to March that's the type of person I am I feel guilty that I'm still going to do another one so uh, it's going to be a nighttime class that one it's going to be seven o'clock on the 24th, on the 24th of February. and John's on comments and John's on comments so if you're in the if you're in that we're going to just make a love heart bouquet and um, we're going to make a love heart bouquet and it will be as I say John's on comments and it'll be seven o'clock at night so just a very simple sneaky one in there just because I feel bad that I moved it to the 12th of March because I just thought it's daft me doing a Mother's Day bouquet in the middle of February you, you'll want to make yeah. it and then give it away so we may as well give it away nice and fresh so do think about joining those classes they are great and if you want to pay on payments all you need to do is phone the office which is 0161 393 5056 get all the classes that you want to join so, okay so don't phone next week and say can I have that one and that one get all of them that you want to join so I want to join all these and this is my payment plan, okay? So this is what I owe you, and every week I'm going to pay you this, and that's all we ask, okay? There's no interest, no nothing, no credit, no no finance company, it's just a personal handshake with us, and you'll love it. All the classes that we have are amazing. So Ollie was in last night telling you about his introduction to chocolate class, which is going to be amazing. We've got Julie Rogers in, her baby bag, and her uh, mannequin, look at this. This mannequin at the back there, I don't know if you can see it there. That dress is amazing. We've got Claire Corbett coming in with her Royal Icing Biscuits. Um, she'll be using whipping it up for that. So Royal, that's an introduction to Royal Icing and that you'll be doing cookies in there. So many of you have asked for cookies and you actually asked Claire to do that class. And then her Chikuchor cupcakes. And then what else have we got going on, Karen? We've Doe got Griffin's Mother's Day cake. And we've got the 28th of this month. We've got the oh, Sculpted yeah. Horse. Hannah the Cake Illusionist. Yeah. So she'll be in on the 28th. So she's going to do that. Don't be feared. Hannah wants to take you up a level. So Julie's going to start you with the first step with the gravity cake. But then Hannah's, Hannah's taking you to another level. So Hannah, Hannah does carving. Really, don't be feared. These tutors, if you've not joined a class, listen to what the members say. Do not be feared. Honestly, our tutors are brilliant. And they show you in a way that's very easy, very relaxed. We also have a great time in the kitchen as well. So it's worth the investment. In fact, I swear to God, some ladies have just joined, just to join in the fun. Do you not think so, Karen? I bet the Geraldine. <laughs> 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 they do because you know what it's such a good time in the groups they really are good but really do think about joining my buttercream flowers and uh, cupcake bows k classes there uh, all the classes are lovely but mine are the best <laughs> aren't the girls oh, and we can't forget jerry's class oh yeah geraldine's class yes she's got yeah. her princess cake when's the princess cake that is the big i've not got the phone with me oh i need to check i haven't missed it off the calendar for next week it's i think is it the i can't think when it is it's the 23rd I think it might be the 23rd of February. No, into the 22nd on 22nd the Monday. The Monday, the Monday yeah. yes it is. Yeah, and Claire Corbett's is on the Wednesday. As on the 24th, that's right, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so lots and lots of classes. Do think about joining them. Like I say, if you can't afford it all in one go, just get them together, phone the office, our office don't mind, and all you've got to do is make a commitment to a weekly or a fortnightly payment. And, is it the affordable, and just pay uh, affordable it. payment for them, An affordable it? payment to you, yeah. Not a fiver, though. No, no. But you'll be here forever. <laughs> but um, an affordable payment to you. We don't want you to miss out, so join them. Right, that's us. We're going. Thanks, Terry. Thanks, Karen. You're welcome. Thanks, everybody, and well done, winners. Congratulations. If you can, message the office and just say to them, I'm going to save it and collect it in my next order. But if you really want them posted out now, we will post them out. So just give them your address and we'll post them out to you. All right then. Bye.